The best in poker news, entertainment, and more. This is the Mark Oak Show. What's up, everybody? How are we doing? Oh, I turned it. Is that on, Joe? Is that thing on? Huh? 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 Now it is. There we go. You know what I feel like doing this morning to kick off the show, Joe? Um, hopefully not kick me, but I, I'm going to flash the graphic back. And forth. You're going to what? Look, I'm going to I'm going to flash need, the graphic. I need volume here. I have no volume on my headset. Well, you got to do something. There about you that, go. Joe. Now I can hear you. Oh, Joe. See, I'm, I'm doing I'm doing the flash thing. I'm going Mark oh. Oak Show. Are you ready? Mark Oak Show. It's the Mark Hoke Show. Look, it's the Mark Hoke Show. Isn't that kind of fun? We're up here. We're gone. And there we are. It's Sunday morning. Let's, yes. get, a little, let's get a little drunk. A little drunk? Let's get drunk. Let's uh, just start telling the bar keeps to just keep shoveling drinks down here. Yeah. Okay. How much can we drink in two hours? I can drink a lot. I'm sure you can. I you can. probably drink more than I can. I don't know, Joe. I mean, you got, you got that Italian. If you're, doing, you're drinking wine or what's your, joy, what's your drink of choice, Joe? Coke. No, Coke. I didn't say what you snort. I said what you <laughs> Coke. No. I, I don't really drink. Okay. Occasionally, a glass of wine at okay. dinner, but... Uh, well, get you a couple bottles of wine. But wine, when I do drink, when I do drink, Long Island iced teas. Oh. So I go from here to there. Long Island iced teas are dangerous. Kind of like that girl. I'm wow. sure you do. Yeah. I, I had a bad night of Long Island iced teas a long time ago. <laughs> Usually everybody has a bad night after a couple of Long Island iced teas. No, not, not a couple. Oh, it wasn't a couple. It was more than a couple? It was, it was a, uh, it was a, lo- a, a large flo- group? A flotilla. <laughs> you do and realize I, that each Long Island iced tea is equivalent to five drinks. Yeah. Five Which shots. is why drinking six or seven of those that night wasn't a good decision on my part. Well, while it was going down, it was a pretty oh, good decision. Oh, my God. I was having a great time. They hit but you like a brick wall because they, they uh, actually taste like you're drinking iced tea. Yeah, with a little splash of coke and it's, uh, it, it's a sneaky rat bastard drink that I love. But, it sneaks uh, up on you, baby. You know what? You know what the worst part about having a really bad drunk night is is in the, like late in that drunk night when you're semi obliterated but you're not quite over the edge yet. You run into somebody that you never thought you'd see and you really don't feel like talking to at that point. But they want to talk to you. Absolutely, and and you and you're so drunk. There's nothing you can do. Well, there, there's something you could do. You could no, fake pass out. No. No, because then they'd want to like be nice to you and stuff. Okay. I had that. Ha- that happened that night too. It was. It was just. This that, is how how many years ago? Oh my God, I was like 29. So yeah, about 15 years ago. Huh? Oh, that was <laughs> that was a, that might have been my worst. I don't know. So, start, somebody start bringing us drinks. <laughs> so, look, Randall. Randall Flowers is there. Double fist in the coffee. Got to love that. Long Island iced teas, is that, is that what the request is going to be? You know, that wouldn't be bad. <clears throat> Anyone brings up a Long Island iced tea, I'll give you. I'll tell you what, here's, here's the offer right now. I've got ingredients right here. All I need now is the five white uh, gins. So. Yeah, there you go. Anybody that brings us a Long Island iced tea gets a free Mark Hoke Show t-shirt. Wow. And I've got still got a, like three or four of the, uh, World, Series of, or the uh, World Series of Poker MMA shirts tucked away. So if you bring us a Long Island iced tea, I will give you... Two shirts. Two shirts. Count one, two. That's a deal? I don't think it's going to happen. I'm, I'm just hoping and praying. I'm hoping somebody is going gonna, is gonna to have a heart. Or if we get flashed, too, I'll give them two shirts. Whatever works. Unless <laughs> Casino Examiner is on his way down. Yeah, that, that's a good point. By the way, did you see we got – it's still left over in the chat box from yesterday. We got blamed for Jennifer Harmon being eliminated. Oh, you did kind of give it the old – Oh come on! No, we who, we, who, we, we who, got called. We got called the two coolers. Who called you that? Casino examiner, Casino examiner. in the chat box. Said, you yeah, she walked coolers. by. You, hey Jen, go for the gold. You two coolers you knocked Jen. out Jennifer Harmon. And as Jen walks back, moments later, gone, <laughs> goldless. You can't blame me for that. She was short stacked. I don't know. Was she really? Yeah, she was. Okay, but she, she made it to day two. She she made it to the final table. Barely, obviously. Yeah, but she made it. She made it. Yeah, and that Dealer's Choice event, wow, bloodbath yesterday. It seems the uh, Badugi, Badegi, Badingi. Yeah, it, it got uh, used. The, the rush is over, though. At the end, it, at the end it was. 
At the and, end, and, it was. But a you lot think of that was a? Uh, you think that was a strategic plan to um, play that a lot during the earliest stages of the tournament, and then we I, got to the final table where they went to PLO. I th- like <clears> to think that you know when you're when you're gardening, for example. When you who? When you're gardening, right? You have the giant weed whacker. You know, you're doing a little landscaping, and you have the giant weed whacker that you want to clear out all the weeds, right? So you, you take the giant weed whacker, and that giant weed whacker in this tournament had was named, there was a couple of them. There was one named Badoogie, one named Badesi, one named Badoogie. Get Badesi. rid of all the weeds. You get rid of all the weeds with a big weed whacker. And then when you get down to it, you know, then you got your pruning shears, and that turned out to be like PLO and a little bit of triple draw and some Omaha 8. Some Those skill the, games. Yeah, little little snip snip. <coughs> now, there are people who play Badoogie and Badegi who tell you that, that that's a skill game in itself. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's just the... But it's a game that's not played a lot. Right. And well, I think that's why you saw a lot of it in the early stages. People who are who had either honed up on their Badoogie, Badegi skills or felt that other players didn't have enough of it used that quite often. Yep, so... During you know just in the updates and uh, we'll we'll tell you who won in just a couple seconds. Not that you don't know already, everybody. Oh, that's not necessarily true. People are just waking up now. Yeah, possibility. Hey, you know, it happened. Well, late that's last you. Night. It's it's one. Everybody on the East Coast has been. Oh, we're talking about people here in Las Vegas yeah. are just waking up. But today was a good indication via the parking lot that they're. It's somewhat crowded in here today. Yeah, we got a one thousand dollar event going on. Ah, that's the plus reason. the poker players championship tonight. That happens every so, Sunday at one thousand dollar. That is correct. Yeah, so uh, let me let me pop this final these final table updates because it it generally said what games got called on this. Uh, so we got a little stud eight or better early on. Now now why did that have to go an extra page? I got one page for two updates and now I gotta back it up. Yeah, flip, there we go. So I had a little stud eight, uh Omaha eight or better. Raz, Pot Lemon Omaha, a little bit of triple draw there. But no Badoogie. little triple draw. But there's, no Badoogie. There, there's a Badoogie. Oh, there is a Badoogie. We did get a Badoogie in there. Uh, let's see. Arthur Morris out on Pot Lemon Omaha, eight or better. Omaha, eight. Stud, eight. A little triple draw. There was no limit hold called twice, and one ended up getting the guy beat. What is the difference between Badoogie and Badoogie? Look, Mark is right now going. What is he talking about? I I knew it. Do you know? Were, you know? Well, because I, I don't know. Well, I'm Badoogie, willing to admit well, that. Well, Badoogie is you're trying to get the low hand with four suits. Okay. So that's your goal. You're trying to go. If I'm, I'm, I'm I'll correct me if I'm wrong. Anybody? You're trying I'm to not going to correct you. You're trying to go ace deuce. Trying to go ace deuce three four four different suits. That's okay. your best hand. And Badoogie. Now Badoogie. See, I ask, I ask pointed questions here. No, it's it's well, there's no Bada- it's Badugi, Badesi. Oh, Badesi, Badesi, and Badusi. Oh, so what's Badesi? So Badesi, well, is that something to do with Ace something? Yeah, hang on, hang on, I'll get the rules. There's Badesi rules, because I don't want to say the wrong thing either. Because honestly, to be very frank, I I don't. I, d- I never played it before in my life. I I, I know I that I was a little bit of Badugi. I, I was up bit. in okay. um, at the. So, Okay, so here you go. Badesi is don't like ace to five triple draw. Best low hand takes. Okay, that's right. It's a split pot game. Best low ball, low ball hand takes half the pot, and best Badugi hand takes the other half. Oh, so it's a split game on Badesi. Split. And then, uh, and I'm assuming, and that's an ace to five triple draw. So then the Badusi, now I remember the Badusi is the deuce low, like it plays like deuce to seven triple draw. And Badugi is the ace low. And Badugi is a slow four, four suits. suits. Four suits. Okay. So there you See, go. Learn. See that? Tune into the Mark Hoke Show and you learn something every day. Yeah, I just had to refresh on that. I do apologize. I should have known. Now, you know, by the way, you were talking about, about UB, playing games on UB. And you know the game that I missed? Ultimate Bet. Yes. I will, I will admit to that, that I did play A lot there. of us played on there. Crazy Pineapple High Low. Yes. I missed that game. That game rocked. They should, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to petition. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to petition Jack and the team to include Crazy Pineapple and Crazy Pineapple High Low in the mix. Because you know that's all I'm going to call. I'm just going to call Crazy Pineapple all day long. I'm going to make everybody cringe at the table, too. Now, the difference between Pineapple and Crazy Pineapple and, and Pineapple, uh, you get dealt three cards and you must throw away one before the flop. Right. 
And in Crazy Pineapple, you get to see the flop and then discard one card. Correct. So it makes it kind of interesting. It makes it see, very I do know, interesting. I do know that because I've played that not that often, but a couple of times. I do know the difference. And then you put in high-low and people's heads explode. Okay. It's about as bad as Game of Thrones. <laughs> But I love it. It was a great game. I always have fun playing it. But I'll tell you what, I would never play that for more than one cent, two cent. I saw guys playing that game online for decent money, and I just sit there like, are you guys nuts? Why don't you just go to a slot machine? Because that was Well, you sick. know, it's all relative. What you, what you find to be uh, high stakes <laughs> to someone else is like playing five cents, ten cents. Yeah, but still, the money flew in that game. Even at one cent, two cent, <clears> that money flew. I was like, forget that. Uh, let's see, what else? We have the, another update. To just run these games down. Triple draw, pot limit Omaha. <coughs> there was a Bidacy. Edema taking Bidacy there. Uh, Omaha 8 or better. Stud 8. Pot limit 5 card draw. Bill Chen. Bill Chen called the 5 card draw on the final nice. table. There you go. You know, the um, probably one of the reasons why they didn't, they didn't go with the, uh, the second version of Bidacy. Bidaisy, 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 whatever. Is a Bidaisy. Is, um, you know, you're trying to eliminate plays at the final table, so when you're splitting pots, yeah. the the likelihood of eliminating a player decreases because there's going to be two winners per pot. Right. And, well, not all the time, but right. so, unless somebody scoops. So that's a move to make if you're stalling, playing the, you know, to, to play the uh, split pot games. If you're trying to kind of hang on there and hang on. If you're close to the money? Yeah. That's what I would do. Stop playing split pots? Uh, PLO, 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 Bidacy, Bidusi, No Limit Hold'em, No Limit Hold'em. Wow, that actually got in there, didn't it? Yeah, and uh, <laughs> Schaff actually called that twice, and we'll, we'll talk about his decision on that. He talks uh, about why he chose that? Well, no, we'll talk about it. Oh, we'll talk Because uh, that, We're ended, up, speak for that him? ended up being the death knell yesterday. For him? Yep. Yeah, well. Uh, well, pretty much because he got he got clipped hard. Actually, Sha well, Shaf uh, Shaf had the one hand, but there was another. I know there was another hand in there that flipped the lead. Um, there's like do seven pot limit uh, Omaha eight. A lot of PLO and PLO eight getting fired out there on this final table, and especially what Ms. Rocky was pushing that Omaha eight hard. Of course, that's where he won his World Series bracelet. His so first that's one. That's his game. His first one. And Robert Ms. Rocky. Brings another one home for the Ms. Rocky family and manages to defeat Aaron Schaff in that one. And See, he's the winner. And wins the first ever dealer's choice. Tournament. And I like how the WSOP on the uh, uh, on the webpage said first, first dealer's choice. Tournament. Indicating to me that there is coming back. interest in yeah, coming back, and it should. I, I think... I said, I, you know, I, I'm i not sure why the number was quite as low as it was, because it was in the, like, 419, I believe, was the entries. Why, well, do, you, why do you think that that, that that one didn't do a, in terms because, of entries, didn't do Because a of the, the likelihood of a lot of players not being totally versed in so many different games, and they're at the mercy of the whoever has the dealer button calls. So they were chicken. Is what you're saying? Uh, I'll say chicken. I think uh, you always try to play a game that you believe that you have an, an optimum advantage on, or at least a little bit of an edge on. And maybe some people, and rightly so, I would think, uh, decided you know I don't play these games often enough. This is, I mean, how I feel about the Deuce to Seven. I love the game, but I don't play it often enough that I would be willing to pluck down fifteen hundred dollars to play it. Now, if I can find. A smaller buy-in, which I believe I did find for next Saturday, but I do have a conflict uh, at the Ari. The Ari is having a Deuce of Seven triple draw um, tournament for I think either two thirty-five or two sixty-five. That if I can free myself up, I'm going to play. There you go. So sounds like fun. So, but yeah, then again, I, I yeah, I think I think one of the things too is that you know it's a it was a newer event. Uh, you know, you have all the variant the variants in there. And you know, I think th I think that some people were intimidated by it. You know, obviously, to me, if you're gonna if you're gonna play that event, you, you better be taking and you're you know, for sure you're gonna do it. You better be taking a month or two, and brushing up a little bit, you know, on some of the games that you're not versed in. If you know, a lot of guys that do play, you know, the high level mixed games, they're playing a lot of Bedusi, Bedegi, Bedusi. And those are the guys that were in that tournament. Yeah, and so I I certainly understand, 
your hesitancy, but you know when you, when that event's announced and you want to give it a shot, you know that's when you kind of say, you know what, if I really want to win this, I gotta I gotta get on the you know play some hands. If I'm correct, I think the the schedule only came out. <coughs> excuse me, about four months prior to the actual World Series ballpark, yeah, somewhere in that area. Yeah. Um, that's not a heck of a lot of time to be able to get your game to a level where you're going to be playing against probably the world's best players at those particular games. I don't think that's enough time. Now, if you have a complete year from now, knowing based upon how the World Series website listed the game as their first, meaning that there's obviously thinking about bringing it back next year. Now, if you have a whole entire year to work on these games, um, now you might see a, a, a little jump up in attendance. Yeah, and, and I think there was some concern, too, about you know just how well the tournament was going to be run, what it was going to look like as it was being played out, because of course, the first thing that everybody thought of was, Oh my God! The dealers are going to mess this up so bad. It's not going to be funny. But they, you know, they did a really smart thing in getting the the most experienced dealers that they could possibly find on that on those games. There were, the, you know, the only floor. You know, there were a lot. There were some good floor calls. A lot of floor calls early, but overall, they handled it very, very well. So, and the buy-in for that was fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Yeah. So yeah. El Cheapo. By the way, it is cold in here. I know, you know Joe's wiping his nose. And well, I still got a little remnants of, uh, I'm not sure what I have, but I'm still not completely over it. So Now I'm getting yelled at by Wookiee Way. By who? Oh, it should go right to that page. MarkHokeShow.com should, uh, should go to the live stream page. That's the only page that's up there. I'll check it out, Wookiee. Thank you. Rookie? Wookiee, the Wookiee Way. Oh, Wookiee Way. He, was, uh, he's, uh, he plays in the NPL. Yeah, when he get, when he's right. Hey, Wookie, uh, he Ricardo's, Ricardo's tonight at 6 o'clock. Last night to get any additional wins. The season ends tonight, baby. Oh, boy. There you go. Well, as for that table, that final table on the on the dealer's choice, uh, Robert Mizraki, of course, taking that one down. Uh, Aaron Schaff, who had a he had a huge lead coming in that final table. That was about 690,000. Everybody we, else was in the two, 280s or 290s. Uh, and it wasn't that Schaff really got crushed along the way it was just you know everybody was starting to pick up some chips and uh but he was up two to one going into the uh, heads up match with robert mizraki but that's you know i hate to say it to aaron but that's kind of a, a the lead tough spot. the lead this year has not held up as much as it should have no absolutely not uh so robert mizraki winning his second world series of poker bracelet aaron Schaff in second shane abbott in third here's a guy looking for another one today brandon shack harris i tell you what the man can play some poker He's all right. He went after shortly after winning a bracelet. He went. You went deep in a tournament like two or three days later. Too. And, and he's going for it again today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go for it, you guys. There you go. Here you go, Fox. The Mark Hope Show. Here you go, friend. There you go. You want? Hey, real. I'm. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, it's, it's okay. All right. I'm, I'm oh yeah, he's getting ready to play. He's he's oh, trying to go. Yeah, he's going in to win a bracelet. Make it real quick. Yeah. Brandon Shaq Harris, he's enjoying Thanks. the Mark Hoke Show. What's up? Uh, yeah, I always enjoy the Mark Hoke Show. Wow. Um, I'm a little delirious. I didn't get much sleep. Um, every single final table I make has, like, the best guy to my direct left. <laughs> it's really annoying. Uh, and this one's going to be really hard because Dan Kelly is to my direct left. And oh. He is a monster chip leader. Um, yeah. So, so you're ready for a beer is what you're saying. If I drank, I would be ready for all the beers. I do not drink. Okay. I'm having some very berries in preparation. I did a, a 20 courtesy flusher uh, before the day started. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow. So, wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm, I'm as prepared as I'll ever be. Yeah, I'm fully cleansed. Wow. Um, and then, yeah, the 50K Players Championship is, is later. Um, so if I get top three, I can play that. Which would be, well, I mean, I'll, 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 I don't know. I'm like 80% to play it right now. But I'm tired, and I don't want to, like, be playing. I don't want to be playing that tired. But if I get third, uh, for sure I play it. Um, so that's extra incentive. Yeah, of course, uh, the Limit Hold'em. Wait, you're, you're under 50, and you're at the final table Limit Hold'em tournament? No, I'm kidding. That's a joke. Limit Hold'em. <laughs> How about that? Of course, Dan Kelly leading oh, the way in that. Brandon's hold coming in six. And but this is, like, punishment for me, too. Like, because I... After the Raz, I like I bricked like 
all, I mean, I didn't make it out of day one for a week and a half straight. And so uh, punishment for that is playing a limit hold'em tournament. And <laughs> if I if I busted first, or if day one of limit hold'em, I was just going to keep registering limit hold'em tournaments around the city as punishment until until I made it day two. Wow. So I'm out. Dude, I'm don't, out. Don't, yeah. don't do that to yourself again, yeah. man. That's but what happens. That's what happens when you break a week and a half straight. Punish yourself. Okay. Let me hold them tournaments. Yeah. So, of so course, so you do something right. So then, of course, it gets to the final table. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah, not bad. I'm okay about it. So coming in there sixth and, uh, you know, trying to taste, chase down J Dan Kelly, David Chu's on that table, too. Jesse Cat. That's going to be an interesting yeah, little really group there. Yeah, it's really annoying. Yeah. I'm <laughs> really trying to keep optimistic about this one. You got it. I've got Cosmic Kitty Powers today. Going full Cosmic Cat. Wow. Um, we dropped the wolf and we went to the Cosmic Cat. Yeah, yeah, I'm going for – wolves are for winners. Cosmic cats are for powers. Um, the wolf is a cel celebratory shirt. Oh, okay. Um, but this is a good omen for me, like being being on the, being here. Yeah. So thank you. Thanks. It, it works out well. It's nice to see you guys. Yeah. I hope you all are doing well. We um, are. Okay, to be uh, in two days celebrating another game. Oh, that would be so wonderful. That would be great. That would be wonderful. Just bury Dan. Screw him. Dan's He's not no here, good. so I feel okay. Yeah, yeah. Dan you is such a nice guy. Yeah, kick his ass. Actually, gifted <laughs> like okay. Here's a story about Dan yeah. Kelly. So Here we go. Once I played, I was playing Raz. I was playing like 1500 Raz. It was like one of my first 1500 full ring shots. I had played some heads up, but not you know it was a long time ago. This is how bad of a of a poker player I am. <laughs> so Dan Kelly's got money, right? Yeah, just a little. Uh, yeah. So he played this hand in a really tricky way, where I read I misread his range and thought he was weaker. Uh, called down, or I'm going to call down anyways. And I made a wheel, and he had, like, six perfect. And, the, <laughs> like, I'm not used to, like, <laughs> sucking out on people like that. Um, and the pot, so, like, the pot was, like, like 5,000 or something. Maybe it's 100, 200. I don't know. Pot was a, a bit. Maybe the pot was, yeah, it was, like, 5,000 or something. So I felt so bad that I sucked out on someone like that. I'm just, just not, you know, not used to doing things like that back back then especially i wasn't it was like one of the first times i had really sucked out like that so i felt bad so so i find him uh i find him on messenger and i said <laughs> oh no, no no i didn't i i just refunded him two thousand dollars because i felt bad for the suck out and i needed that money but wow that's like that's like the guilt my mom was catholic and that guilt is just like instilled in me I'm such a sucker. I'm such a bad poker player. Jeez. That's an embarrassing story, but I felt like I had to get that out before I move forward with the well, day. Well, there you go. You know what? That confession may be what sets you free today. It might be. Maybe, maybe it leads Dan the Kelly way. will, like, maybe this will be, maybe maybe I get punished, and Dan Kelly's just like, F that $2,000. Here's some more punishment, and just three bets me all day. Or maybe he lets me steal a couple times. Or maybe. Or maybe karma, you beat him heads up and win the bracelet. For giving him that two thousand. Yeah, but I think like poker karma would be like you get punished for being an idiot. <laughs> but maybe something <laughs> nice happens. Who knows? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, I gotta get out. All of right. It. Well, good luck in nice there, to my see friend. You guys. Going for his second World Series of Poker bracelet just this year, Brandon Shaq Harris. Have a nice day. Well, let him have fun with Dan Kelly in there. Cool. Give us the luck on the kitty powers. Nice. There you go, Brandon Shaq Harris. Stopping by real quick. We're, we're becoming – Joe, this is becoming a confessional booth today. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> Look what he did to you. <laughs> that's great. you, you got to take the mic out of the stand there, Joe. All right. Oh, that's hilarious. you got to love that. you got to love that. By the way, Joe Payne, I don't know if you introduced Joe Payne from it the is, Nevada Poker League. It is uh, – I'm on here, right? Yeah, you're on. It is so cold in here that – Thank. I actually appreciate Brandon stopping by. He gave me a chance to – Run over to the Run Gear Lounge, and my modeling one of the Run Gear Swiss. Yeah, it's a little, a little chilly in here today. It is. I've been wearing one of the uh, the Nike ones over there. We have all sorts of designs and colors. So there's only, down. by the way, I only have four of those left. Really, of the red ones. So if you want one of those uh, sexy red Run Good Gear sweatshirts, you better stop you know, by now because they're going to be gone soon. Brandon's a great guy. He is. He? I love that kid. You know, I I, <laughs> so, I yeah. only got a chance to meet him. When after he won his first bracelet, but he just he just hit me as a really down to earth guy, level headed. Uh, you know the story about giving K 
Kelly money back is just that that would never happen anywhere else no. except for Brandon. You know, I'm gonna have to start playing against him. Yes, because if I lose, he'll give me the money if back. If he sucks out on you, if he beats you legitimately, yeah. you're not getting your money back. Yeah. But you know, you got that. I thought it was only Jewish guilt, but obviously there's there's Catholic guilt also. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of Catholic guilt. I mean, absolutely. I'm uh, I'm Catholic. I'm, yeah. I don't think I have that much guilt though. Uh, I'm not sending somebody back two thousand if he had six perfect and I make a wheel on him. That, that's a good kid. He's all right. I'm just trying to get that wire flattened out there. Um, but to finish that final table on the dealer's choice, and we'll can back it up a little bit. Uh, Shaft, th- Aaron Shaft second, Shane Abbott third, Bill Chen fourth. So Bill Chen, another final table for him, but uh, no cigar. Uh, Daniel Adima at fifth, Frank Casella in sixth, Marco Johnson. He gets the unofficial final table shaft we, on that we one. We never got any uh, an official explanation to the unofficial final no, table. No, I forgot to ask Jack. He'll be he'll be walking by. Uh, Marco Johnson seventh, Aaron uh, Arthur Morris in eighth, Melissa Burr another major run for her. She has been tearing it up. Bunch of final tables, top tens. I mean, she has been outstanding. And Jen Harmon finishing in tenth place. Thanks Jen to Jen Harmon, who, who you put the cooler on yesterday. I did not put the cooler. You, you helped. You're the one who. A lot of my friends, I have been uncoolering this year. I've been doing all right. I don't want to hear it. <coughs> I, th- right. I think Jen has to formally come on the show. I don't think it's going to happen, especially if she can recall that as she was walking in, you gave it a go for the gold. You know, my cheering for Jen or wishing Jen Harmon the best of luck had nothing to do with what happened on that table. And we all know it. Poker players are very we superstitious. If and they walk it. in one door one day and win, they walk in that door all the time until they lose. You know that. Well, yeah. Because you probably do that yourself. Occasionally. I know I do. If I put a certain shirt on and I win, I mean, I'm wearing that shirt the next time I go out to play. Yeah, I wish I would have done that on my final table in the circuit event. Instead of thinking, oh, I'm going to dress up and look sharp and, you know, go all Mike Sexton. Nope. Didn't had, happen. Had the, had the football sweat T-shirt on all day long and then switched to looking sharp. And uh, I have some great pictures for it to show for it. But no trophy. <laughs> no trophy. Or bracelet. No, no ring. By the but way. Then again, uh, you don't care about the money, do you? I would probably give up. If, if I could win a ring and not. And you would give the up mo- the you would give up the ring to take the money though, but you wouldn't give up the bracelet to take ten million. Wow, to get, I'm to finding get, a lot to about get, to you. get a ring. You know, I mean, that would be something that that wouldn't be bad. I'd be willing to. What, what I'd do you be willing to take the hit to? Where do you put the ring in a, in relationship to the bracelet, the circuit ring? Oh, it's definitely Not the like ring. it's like way down. There, okay, so how many rings would you say? How many circuit event rings would you say? You would have to win to be on par with one bracelet. I don't. Jeez, I don't even think you can. I mean, there's a uh, one guy's got nine circuit so rings, that, but I don't, think, equi- I don't think I don't think that equi- is equivalent to one bracelet. Really, nine yeah. circuit rings not equivalent to one bracelet. No, I mean it certainly shows your consistency on the WSOP circuit events, but this is a whole new level. I mean, that's like here. I you know this I mean, is like you know in relationship to. Uh, if we have any Cowboys listening in, you have your local rodeos, and then you have the NFR here in Vegas. Yeah. Uh, so maybe you're saying the World Series is like the NFR? Sure, I'll I'll, I'll go with that parallel, okay. I suppose. I was saying that. Yeah, I mean, you know. You can be the best bull rider. I mean, in, I, can, I can be the best pitcher. In Waco, Texas, but when you come out to Las Vegas for the NFR, that doesn't mean that you're going to be the best here. Oh, here's Jack. Jack. He's carrying food, but can I ask you a fast question? A fast question. A fast question. Okay, here's our question for you. Remind me about why there, when we get to a final table that one person gets lopped off and there is an unofficial final table. Why do we not have 10 as the official final table? Because the, it's a nine-handed event or an eight-handed event or a seven-handed event. You, you put the extra player there to protect the structure and to keep guys from stalling or having the tables play at an unbalanced rate, right? So then once you lose the players, now you have the official uh, final table. So it's if, it's, if, if it's a hold'em event, it's an official final table at nine players, right? You play at ten because it's five and five because if they played you know, at the same time, they play five and five, one may play at a different rate. It's a lot fairer to put them together, protect the structure, get them down to one more player, and now you have your final table. But it's a, an official table, so whatever the official number of players is for that table, that's what's official. So this unofficial thing is a technicality. It's a technicality, but I think somebody gets screwed out of that. There's Jennifer Tilly, by the way. I was hoping I could hide my 
Well, well, yeah, absolutely. Is. <laughs> oh, well, come back for an interview, well, Jen. I miss well, you. You know what? You know what? You know, the reason she didn't want to leave her bag here. I think she realized you went through her phone last year. I did not go through her phone. <laughs> I she's turned going, it over. Wait, wait. It went off, and it was a text from another actress. And yeah, you, and I said, no way. And I'm you answered gonna, it, too, no, from what I, I understand. No, I answer it. <laughs> I thought you were shitty in that last role no. you did. <laughs> now the girl doesn't even want to leave a bag here now. Look at that. Look at that. Well, she was gunning, and then Jack Effel swooped in. I still think that's BS, though. You make the final table. You make the final table. Well, you know, you know, I know Jack was kind of in a hurry, but he, he said, you know, part of the reason was that, you know, they wanted to make sure they were playing at the same rate. Don't they usually go hand for hand when they're down to two tables of five to get down to the final table of nine? Or do they not go hand for hand? No, because when they get to ten, they end it. It's everybody at one table. No, 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 no. It's everybody at one table of ten. I thought they, the final table is nine. Yeah, but they they have the, the when you get down to ten players, they put everybody on one table. Oh, the unofficial. That's, see, that's uh, the unofficial final table. Okay, I still think that's a crock. Why is it just make the f- official final table ten? I don't know. Who knows? I don't get that. Here's the other ten. Here's the other bracelet. No, no this ten is million a, dollar. Yeah, guy. this is an unofficial. Here's the other guy just giving up this ten is an million unofficial, dollars. This unofficial co-host. <laughs> he's, he's, co- he's a co. He's a co-host on what show? Where? Who? What show? <laughs> Can't be this show, Kenny. Couple, couple. I've made cameos. Cameos. <laughs> cameos are not eligible for Academy Awards, by the way. Well, actually, I don't think you can win an Academy Award. You from can a cameo. Didn't uh, from somebody cameo. just won a, a Best Supporting Actress? Or, I believe That's best for being on for being on in the movie for like six minutes, if I remember right. It was like six or seven minutes. And one best supporting actor or okay. actress. So, it, I, but it must have been a, a key role in the movie, not a you oh, know cameo oh role. Is kind of you know, oh yeah, there's uh, there's Mark Hoke. Hey, you know, you had a cameo role recently. Yeah, Mall yeah. Cop. I did. I hope I hope uh, it gets in. I hope the it room. doesn't make the cutting room floor, don't you? I'm praying to God because <laughs> if it doesn't get on the cutting room floor, I'm in the flick. Hey, we should talk about event number forty two. We should because this one's pretty exciting too. Pot limit. Omaha six-handed event, 5K buy-in. That is going day three, and look who's at the top of the leaderboard. Do you think he'll talk to us if he wins a bracelet, Phil Locke? Possibly. Phil Locke at over a million well, if chips. Well, if you had Jennifer's luggage under the table, that might have been a, oh, yeah. a good way of getting him here. I know. <laughs> what is it with Phil Locke and Antonio? They don't want to talk to us. Huh? I don't know. It's, it's disappointing. It's the way it's always been, maybe the way it always will be. You know, what I, I want to do, grease the palms? What, do we have to give them like 500 bucks to come on the show? When I was the UBT pro coordinator, Phil and Antonio and Jennifer were team pros. Mm-hmm. So I interacted with them on a regular basis, and uh, they were always nice to me. I don't know what their rocking issue is with you. I'm always nice to them. You know, just, Antonio I mean, said to me I recently, mean, I, I mean, I'd come on the show, Joe, but it, you know, what's with Mark? What's up with that? Yeah, yeah. What's up with Mark? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, it is not a final table yet, but we, Unofficial. Uh, but we actually did get an elimination on that today. They started with 13 players coming back. Michael Tar- uh, Tabarelli is out. Locke is leading at 1.087 million. Cyril Mizzy is in second, 735. Brant Hale at 665. Joseph Lung from Vancouver, British Columbia, 630. Michael Drummond at 625. Darius Stuttered at 555. Demise Hasabis at 515. Boy, you know, you kind of get that name wrong. Hey, man, I'm Demise Hasabis. Uh, Demise okay. Hasabis. That's got some, uh, you know, got a little rhythm on that. If she left the luggage here, were you going to open it up? No. You know you wanted to. <laughs> that would have been funny, though. Come uh, on. <laughs> you're a bird. You know you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine opening Jennifer Tilly's <laughs> luggage on the show? On the show live. Oh, my God. What you could possibly find in there. Anyway. Whoa. Corey, Corey, Whoa. <laughs> Corey Kilpatrick. Well, it's a, it's a, it's somebody's suitcase. You never know. Corey Kilpatrick. Well, when is, you suggested what could you find in there. You never know. What road were you going down? There's obviously going to be clothes in there. There's going to be clothes and you know, utilities and things utilities. like that. Utilities. 
We all have like clothes a utility and, bill. We have <laughs> clothes and utilities. And, what do you? And, uh, what's and your okay. sundries and things like oh, that? Sundries, I understand. What are utilities? No, oh, your razors and your, you know, any grooming tools utilities. or, you are know, you? maybe you got a beard trimmer in there. I don't know. I don't think Jennifer has a beard trimmer. But I, I'm just saying in general. You're oh. right, you didn't say what Jennifer might have, and I don't know what Jennifer's got in her suitcase. When she, she comes might back, have a trimmer. Ask her. Well, she might have a trimmer, but I don't think it's going to be a beard trimmer. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I am stopping right there. Corey Kilpatrick. <laughs> I do take you to the line. Another, another but deep. you refuse to step over. <laughs> I'm not going over that <laughs> line. Are you kidding me? Corey Kilpatrick at half a million. Uh, he's making another deep run here. Richard Ashby, another deep run for him as well. Ryan Schmidt in 10th. Brandon Crawford in 11th. And David Bakes Baker at 130000 now bringing up the rear at in 12th place. Okay. Two suitcases. <laughs> he just won't let it go. Two suitcases in the booth. Two suitcases in the booth. One belongs to Jennifer. Yep. One belongs to Annie Duke. Which one would you be most tempted to open? Jennifer Tilly's. Okay. Because? Because Annie Duke would chop my head off. <laughs> Jennifer I, might actually think it would be slightly funny. Maybe. So are you, are you maybe. Saying, like by that much. You're afraid but, of but you're Annie Duke would. Uh, you're afraid of Annie Duke. Oh, I would fear any Duke. Oh, my God. <coughs> that could get ugly. Uh, Limit Hold'em, we were just talking about that event with Brandon Shaq Harris headed in the door. Uh, Dan Kelly, a uh, pretty significant lead in this. And, you know, it, it's tough to blow a big lead in Limit. We've seen it happen. Uh, but Dan Kelly's going to be able to call a lot of bets here. He's at 734000 Where's Brandon? Uh, Brandon is in sixth. Uh, David Chu is the man trying to chase him down. So David Chu is looking for a bracelet. I believe that would be number seven, I want to say. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to double check that. Um, he's a 473. Sean Berrios at 373. Igor Sarikov, who's actually from California, 361. Jesse Katz at 294. Brandon Shaq Harris, 269. Jeff Lissandro, another final table. He's at 177. Uh, Ron Burke at 166. And Bryce Landier at 112. So, I can't let something go here. I really can't. <laughs> Two suitcases are in front of the booth. You don't know who they belong to, but you have to go through them, and your guess is either going to be it's Annie Duke's suitcase or Jennifer Tilly's suitcase. Uh -huh. Do you think you'd be able to tell who which suitcase is which? Yeah. And the reason being? Uh, I think they have different fashion tastes. Okay. How about if it was just undergarments? <laughs> that I can't speak for. Okay. I thought you might have a little inside information. No, there. I don't have. How am I going to get inside information? I mean, you really have to get inside to get inside <laughs> information on that. Well, I mean, you, 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 you just, you basically opened the show this morning by saying, you know, I just realized I'm friends with a lot of poker players and I hear so many different stories. Yeah, I do. You know. You know, would, but, I, but I've never had sex with any of them. I didn't say you did, but you might you might have seen pictures of them uh, lounging at home, so to speak. Well, did you ever see Bound? Who? Jennifer Tilly's the greatest one of the great movies ever. God bless her. Oh, love that movie. As did most men. Uh, David Chu would be going for his sixth was, bracelet. Was she in undergarments in that movie? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, David Chu, uh, f right now five-time bracelet winner, looking for number six if he can win that today. Bracelets in 96, 98, 2000, 2005, 2013. Of course, won one last year, so he's looking for number, looking for the six ball, corner pocket. But he's going to have a little bit of work to do to catch up to Dan Kelly. In you this know, if Jennifer tournament. comes back, we're going to ask her. Straightforward. Is there anything interesting in your suitcase? Okay. She might she, open it up. She might. She might. We've had backpacks and well, opened yeah, on the, the show a couple yeah, of times. Backpacks. Are, that's. And she came. Obviously, just came from either her hotel room, or if they're renting a house here in Las Vegas. It looks like she's ready to leave to go back to L.A. Yeah. Straight from here, so she might have everything she brought to Las Vegas with her. I think she was probably ready to go, but with Phil yeah, in the yep, steep run, maybe yes, yeah, maybe it was just a delay yeah. in the in the departure. No, no hotel room. No hotel. You would room. think somebody could have got her one, you know, if she wanted to stay tonight. Uh, event number 44, 1500 hour no limit hold'em kicked off yesterday. They're down to 199, 1914 players in there. So I don't think they hit the money yet. 
Uh, congratulations. Jason Johnson, get yourself a screenshot, buddy, because you were the leader after day one of that event. Uh, 150000 Luis Laxaneta, 111. Kenny, and they have, it's two N's, two I's. Speaking of Kenny, we haven't seen Kenny Eiliger in a while. Yeah, he busted out probably. Oh. Kenny win 100,000, 108,000. Ray Foley at 104. Robert Gerardo, 103. Theo Tran, 103. Andrew Shack at 99. Oh, here's here's the winner of the uh, the uh, South American names. Vinicus Teixeira de Silva. Okay. Could be Vinicius. Well, but yeah, but uh, from <laughs> Central Brazil. Is an eighth, and Randall Flowers, the man we just mentioned, is uh, listed in ninth right now, ninety-four thousand. Did he come by? Just come by with a drink in his hand. Two of them. Two, two coffees. Yeah. Double fist in it. He was may have gone to EDC last night. Just a hunch. Hey, somebody uh, died at EDC last night. Did they? Yeah, oh, twenty-four-year-old ge- gentleman. Yeah, that place is just. Yeah. It's saying from dehydration. I didn't know you can die from dehydration. Yeah. I mean, I would imagine you would if you were stuck somewhere for days on end, but. I mean, there had to be a place for him to hydrate. Obviously, drank himself silly is probably what they did. Okay. I'll dehydrate you. He, he must have thought he was hydrating himself. <laughs> Incorrect. Incorrect. Uh, let's see. we got uh, Max Silver in the top 20 there. Who else is hanging around? Anybody? Anyone? Any big names? Victor Ramden, 42. Jake Balsiger, 43. Barry Greenstein, 45. Joe Rock, 48. I uh, just saw him coming in today, said hi to him. Uh, How's he doing? Oh, he's doing well. Yeah? Got a little messed up from that skateboard crash. Oh. Took a chunk out of his knee. That wasn't Ooh. pretty. Yeah. He's carrying the cane, but I think it's more of a... a crutch? I think it's more of a... Uh, no, no, I think it's just the opposite. I think it's a attention getter. Oh. Yeah. It's interesting. Jason Wheeler, deep in that one, 65. Yeah, I mean, this is a... You know, if a couple of pros can hang on in there... Good chance to do a pickoff, kind of like what Dutch Boyd did. You know, he managed to outlast a pretty yeah, field late in that. Uh, he had a couple, obviously, pretty strong players in there, but he barreled through the late, that late part of that group in that 1K a few days ago to win a bracelet. So you know, that's another opportunity here. Maybe Randall Flowers. I mean, it's Randall's time. That would be good. Randall needs that, too. He, might, he doesn't have a hand to grab the bracelet. And he will. Double fist. Well, he's just holding the coffee cups. You know, he's, somebody's got to clasp it on. Get a little help. It's all good. Okay. All right. So there's event number 44. <clears throat> 1,500 that kicked off yesterday. Uh, 45. That is today's. Well, actually, two. So two events today. Event 45. 1K, no limit. Hold them. A Sunday tradition here at the World Series. Not every Sunday, but just during, about. During the World Series. Just about. But, yeah, 1K starting off today. And, of course, tonight underway. And this is one that if you want to get down here and watch some big dogs Duke it out. Well, Big dogs balking. Man, the 50K Players Championship starting tonight at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So if you want to see all your top pro friends, you that would a, be the place to do you it. you have an early prediction? Pain. No, no, I'm not No, playing. I have no idea. I don't even know who's how about pick? There. How about you pick a player and I pick a player just to make that final table? Jeez. Let me see who's in first. We got we to gotta see who's in there. Everybody and anybody's going to be in there. You know that. All the big names are going to be in there. I'll take Grinder. Really? I'll take Negrano. I think I think Daniel is due. He's been sniffing around. He's been sniffing around. I think he's... Uh, $1 last longer bet? I don't think you want to go down that road with me. I, I, I was going to give you a pass and not mention... Oh, no, we're going to mention what, last what night. What happened last night. But no, I, oh, why? No. We We pushed. We pushed last night. You played very unfair last night. Oh, very you. unfair. What are you talking where about? I, where I, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. You, you gonna, might want to take a commercial this. break. We are going to take a commercial yeah, you break might on take, this. And, and, and you <laughs> might, you might co- call an attorney to, <laughs> to get some legal help because you cannot win this argument. I, I will win this argument. Oh We're going to take God. a break. We'll be right back. 
The heat is on. Whether you're in the hot seat of a major poker tournament or just dealing with everyday life, stay cool with a brand new Arctic Blue cooling towel. Just wet your reusable and durable Arctic Blue cooling towel in cold water and you'll have instant cooling relief at your fingertips for up to five hours. The towel is lightweight and pliable, so you can keep it handy no matter where you are. Plus, it's absorbent enough to make sure you and your clothes stay dry while you stay cool. No need to sweat it out, no matter what you're doing, when you have an Arctic Blue cooling towel handy. So get the same cooling towel used by professional athletes, poker players, first responders, physical therapists, U.S. automakers, and even reality TV stars. So what are you waiting for? Visit them today at arcticblu.com and pick yours up today. Plus, enter the discount code Mark Hoke Show when you check out and get 15% off plus free shipping to keep some of your cold hard cash in your wallet. It's like the Arctic Blue Bear says, it's not cool to be hot. So pick up your Arctic Blue cooling towel today. One man, his lucky shirt, an unforgettable night, and a winning streak that never seemed to end. That's how Blind Squirrel began, and we haven't looked back since. We make the clothes that we want to wear for the places where we want to look and feel our best. The game, the speakeasy, and the casino floor. Blind Squirrel's small batch, high quality gear is for people too busy grabbing life by the nuts to bother with crappy, ill-fitting clothing. Because like you, we prefer our nights long, our drinks strong, and our lucky shirt to be our most comfortable. So look good, be lucky, and visit BlindSquirrelApparel.com for your new favorite shirt. As an added bonus, you'll receive 20% off your purchase with the promo code HOKE, H-O-K-E. You can also pick up Blind Squirrel Apparel at the Borgata in Atlantic City and in Las Vegas at all Masura stores at Mandalay Bay, Monte Carlo, The Mirage, and MGM Grand. Look good and be lucky with Blind Squirrel Apparel. I'm Dutch Boyd, two-time WSOP bracelet winner, and I want to share my story with you. Twelve years as a pro has taught me a lot. For the last year, I've boiled it all down into a tell-all book, 90,000 words. In Poker Tilt, I take you on my journey through all the ups and downs that poker has to offer, all the manic highs and hellish lows of every bad beat and lucky draw. So go to www.pokertilt.com to read more, or just go buy the new book on Amazon or Kindle. Right now, pokertilt.com. I guarantee you'll enjoy the ride. Your business and promotion will only go as far as your website will take you. That's why the Mark Hoke Show has only trusted one name for over two years. BlueRail.net. Whether you need custom website design and development packages or simply need a host for your website, BlueRail is the only developer to turn to. It's time to discover the world-class personalized service only the BlueRail team can provide. Visit us at BlueRail.net. Net and call 520-822-5128 right now for your free consultation today. So get on board at BlueRail.net. How far do you want to go? Tough day at the Velp? Get off tilt and unstuck by escaping to the desert for an extreme off-road adventure with Sun Buggy Fun Rentals. We have the biggest fleet of off-road vehicles known in the universe. And since we know poker players aren't exactly early risers, we now offer after-dark tours for all you night owls. And don't forget to stop by the Mark Hope Show WSOP booth at the Rio to win a free Sun Buggy experience. Please call us 24-7 at 1-866-728-4443 and visit us at WSOP www.sunbuggy.com. Call us now and take the off-road ride of your life with Sun Buggy Fun Rentals. Nine poker players on a dramatic path to glory with unbelievable twists and turns that will keep you on the edge of your seat. It's the Final Nine comic from Room 110 Publishing. Go to Final, the number nine, comic.com to download the first issue preview and get ready for the official launch coming soon. Nine will become one, one way or another. Final9comic.com. And for more details, make sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook at Final9comic. Want more of The Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. Now. 
let's return to The Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. Let's return to The Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. And little old me. Little old you. Yeah. It's really, you know, I'm the facilitator. I'm not the star. I'm the facilitator. My phone, by the way. My mic's, my mic's on. My mic's on. Oh, we're just jamming out. I'm sorry. I got the music cranked a little bit extra. Good. I'm all juiced up. I'm excited. You know, as I was uh, driving in today, yeah. I promised myself. Oh. And I'm a pretty good. I'm pretty good on as far as when I make a promise to myself, uh-huh. keeping it. Yeah. I promised myself that I was not going to mention. A wagering situation between us last night. <laughs> broke even last night. Uh, yeah, yeah, broke even. I, I promised did. myself I was not going to mention it unless you brought it up. Okay. And fifty, we went for almost all fifty minutes, and you didn't say a word. And I was like, okay, huh. we're gonna let it go. But you brought it up. Okay, we're gonna talk about it. I gotta, I gotta give one more congratulation real quick because I, I almost yeah. forgot to mention this. Real fast, and then and then we'll beat each other up for a while. I'm, we're not, um, it's not gonna. Nobody's gonna be beating anyone up. I'm just gonna make you feel really bad. Oh, you can try. All right. So here was Sean Dempsey, by the way, winning that event that carried over the uh, in event number 39, uh, knocked off Ryan Jack and Nettie to win event 39, 3K No Limit Hold'em. Of course, uh, that was the final one, final table with Ryan Laplante. But uh, Ryan Sean Dempsey. Uh, three players carrying over to that extra day. So they had a extra extra long tournament and a pretty brutal heads up, but Sean Dempsey gets his second six-figure score of the World Series and a bracelet, so we want to make sure to congratulate Sean. There you go. Speaking of heads up. Yeah. You and I went heads up last night. We did. We had a great time. We had a great time uh, at the World Series of fighting. I want to make sure we, we thank, of course, Raymond Davis kind of got us hooked into that. I want to thank Raymond and, of course, Sean, uh, Sean Lampman. The and I want just to show that there is no hard feelings. Yeah. I want to graciously thank you for giving me six tickets last night. Yes, I brought my whole entire family, and my only two friends in the whole world, yeah. Brenda and Kevin. Well, I'm your friend. <laughs> well, but you were there already. You already had a ticket. Okay, okay. So, um, I just have a question for you. Yeah. If you and I were in a heads-up match, yeah, poker. Okay. We're heads up. Okay. And every time I got the button, you said, "You know what?" I won't play this hand out of position. Let's just move on to the next hand. Uh huh. Would that be fair or would that be not fair? I could fold. No, 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 no. You didn't even want to post a blind. You just said, you know what? What, on the last fight? Play- Are you no, 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 about no, the no, last no. fight? Okay. No, you can't grip okay. about the last fight. We picked the same guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Let me. You know what? Let me. Let me. We got to back up. We got to back up and tell. Let me the set whole, the groundwork. The whole, the whole story we, on this. Like I say, we we go to the Hard Rock last night. Right, we the did. World Series of Fighting. Uh, we sit down and <laughs> I, not me. Mark leans over <laughs> and says to me, "Hey, you want to go a dollar a fight? Yeah, why not? I said, I'll tell you what. Was there six? There's six fights. Okay." Well, we had five when we got there. It was five. No, I think there were six, wasn't there? No, when, when we when we started the betting, there were five. We started with the there were seven prelim events, and then we had the five. Okay, you're right. We had the five and being televised being events. the gracious guest that I was uh-huh. of Mark of Mark Coke at the at the fights, <laughs> I said to you, "Okay, Mark, you pick first. Uh-huh. Two opponents, you pick first. The next match, I'll pick first, uh-huh. and, and we'll and we'll alternate. Uh-huh. So at, at a five matches, you're going to pick first. Three times. Uh-huh. I was going to pick first two times. Uh-huh. So you already had a little bit of an edge there. No big thing. Uh-huh. It's only a dollar. Yeah. So the first match you pick, your opponent, I probably was going to lean towards that opponent, but the rules were you get to pick first. I picked the only other person who was in the ring. Yeah. I wound up winning that match. Yes, I was incorrect. And you were incorrect in that one. <laughs> you paid me a dollar. I paid, paid a up. dollar. I paid up. I shipped the dollar right in front of everybody. The uh, the next match. This was interesting. The next match, um, I pick, you pick, and you say, eh, you know, I really don't want that guy. I want the other guy. Me already being up a dollar, graciously said, "Do you want to switch, Mark? I'll let you switch opponents." I Mark, did, Mark. Not that you did. I allowed do, you to. Do, even you know, do you know why I switched? 
Do you know well, what? You were mean, cheating too. On top of that, no, 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 no. You're going to accuse me of cheating on the second to last fight. This this fight, the guy came into Eye of the Tiger, and I got a little juiced up. Yeah, you got juiced up because okay. I'm a Hulk Hogan kind of guy. Yeah, you know, I got a little juiced up. I'm like, no, I want this guy. Well, that well, was the Eye of the Tiger is rocking. That man. was a not s- Hulk Hogan, but no, no. He, so I, I allowed you to switch. It was, Hulk Hogan came into no, Eye of the, Eye the Tiger, Tiger for was, a very long time. Well, it that was, was his ring music for a very long time before he switched to Real American. Don't well, even go there. Well, it was really from the Rocky movie. It though. was originally from right, the Rocky so. movie. But. Um, so I allowed you to switch. Even I switched. Though, yeah, and, and guess what happened? And I screwed you myself. You lost. <laughs> Big loser. Okay. Now, where, where I come from, and that's Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. We don't need no written contracts. Huh. You know, you barely even need a handshake. If you and I say, we got a bet, we got a bet. And our bet was... It's not a lot of money, but it was just, it was it was the excitement of beating Ma Coke for a couple of bucks. It's it's yeah, and it's hard to do. You pick once, I pick once. We alternate, but Ma decides that when I picked first, if he doesn't like the other opponent he's left with, he said, "I called I, no bet. I want to make no bet." You oh, there can't I do called that. no bet on that because you know why? Wait, you, wait, wait, hold on a second. If you call no, but he calls no bet, and then the next next match. He thinks he's supposed to go first when he's waived his no bet. So, uncalled for. And then I'll give you something else. He calls no, he, he doesn't want to bet. I, we pick, we're alternating. But then I gave you a three to one bet, Joe. No, no, hold on a second. Now, now hang on. You're, you you're didn't give me ahead. a three to one bet. Here's no, what no. I did. Here's what I did. My guy is just, so we're, my girl, I should we're say. We're on the women's fight. The women's my girl is fight. just kicking the living shit. Out of your Japanese little heroine there. Well, that's because I knew I was on Jesse Aguilar's side, who, by the way, is a very good fighter. Okay, she is good. So you say to me, since you do, you, you backed out of you second back, round, you backed so, out of that bet. So as a gracious thing that I did, now, well, can, me, I, can, can I can I tell my side of this this part of this one? You, how about how about I'll I give you, you how about I give you all the rebuttal time you need? Let me just okay, make my all right, statement. All right, all right, I'll give We're you, in the I'll second give round of a five round match, uh-huh. and you say to me, "Hey." First of all, I think I even offered you surrender a couple of times when you were clearly behind. Uh, you offered me surrender on the second fight. Yeah, and, the and you didn't take it you because were like, because the guy won the second round was was looking good okay. in the second round, so I did not yeah. want to take the surrender. You, had, you must and, have been, and then the other you dude must just, have been drinking the had, Obama Kool Aid that he, round. Hey, they went twenty nine twenty eight. It was twenty nine twenty eight. One guy, one judge had it. Another one. Another one was, 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 was twenty nine twenty seven. They one round he only got eight points. It was 29, 28. twenty nine, twenty eight. Twenty was thirty, twenty seven, twenty nine, twenty eight, twenty nine, twenty eight. Oh, whatever. Right. Okay. Um, anyway. Make a long story short, because you're trying to you're trying to get me off track here, but I'm not going to get off track. <laughs> you, um, in the second round of a five round match, you say to me, "Hey, how about I give you two to one? There's four rounds left. We're in the second round. You offer me two to one if I can pick the round." That my girl is going to knock the shit out of your girl and knock her out totally. Uh-huh. I looked at you like, really? Four rounds left, and you want to give me two to one. I mean. Okay, well, then I took the three to one. You, you offered. You said, well, I'll do three to one. and I I'll said, do okay. three to one once the round ended, uh-huh. and it was three rounds left. The fair well, distribution said, of odds was three to one. See, I said three, four, five. And I said, three, pick your round, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, but the point is, uh-huh. you were not. How about this? The next time we make a bet like this, we're putting it in writing. Okay. Because <laughs> whatever makes you happy. You know, that's not making me if happy. It makes you happy. So it's it fair. can't be that bad. You can't say. I offered you a chance to pick up three to one. Three to one on that. But I had to pick the round. And it were and, only three. And you almost got it. It was close. Yeah, she should have went down. I was sitting there saying a prayer. <laughs> I mean, I literally, I mean, he didn't see this part, but in the fourth round, which was the round that he picked, the Japanese girl was getting pummel on the ground and twisted there like was a pretzel. Blood. There was blood it was everywhere. That girl got busted up in the first I round. It what. was just bad the whole way. But I literally had pulled the dollar out of my pocket, and it was, I mean, you guys can see it. I, I was, I was <laughs> sitting here like this, ready to pass. I had it in my hand. I was just ready to say, you know what? I just double. You played unfair. Screwed you, myself. You played unfair last night. I gave you a chance to pick up three bucks on that. You could have crushed me. I even didn't. I even say to you, I'm Joe. Didn't I? I didn't I even say to you, Joe? If I if when I lose this, I'm gonna give you we, five give, we give me the five so I can just have the ones back. <laughs> I, but I, fortunately, I, I survived that one. Oh. I survived that. And I got then a the dollar last back. Match. The second. Well, then we got the fourth match. 
which you, got, you won the fourth match, which I won the fourth match to get you to get you. I almost didn't. I almost blew that one though too. <laughs> I was close, and then I I started, uh, and and this this was the tip off. See, Joe, I I was I was looking at this, and I was going to take the guy that lost the fight, but then they put up a poll on the screen that said, "Will Rick Glenn get a knockout tonight?" And I was like, oh, Jesus, maybe I should be taking Rick Glenn. And I was right. And by wh- the, by wh- the way, I want to say something about that kid, too. A hundred, he's a featherweight. A featherweight. Six foot tall. That was just firing punches at every angle you and possibly his imagine. arms were as long as his table. I mean, he got, he, got, he got taken down early in the first round. But after that, it, and, and and actually that one, uh, dude, the dude had an arm oh, bar, arm on, him. Like arm bar on him that looked like it was over. I mean, literally his arm was like, yeah. We well, see, I think the fact that he yeah. has such long arms, he really couldn't bend it properly in the right place to yeah. get him to tap out. But but on the, lo- the last fight, again, I have first pick. And I was didn't know which way I was going to pick. And then when they announced the last guy and they said he – from Brooklyn, New York, it was a done deal. <laughs> I'm taking my boy from Brooklyn, and you look like you're a little puppy that had their milk bone taken away from them. <laughs> yeah, I oh, was. I wanted that guy. No bet. No bet. No bet. So you call no bet twice <laughs> out of five matches, and you think this is fair. If we make a bet in the beginning of the night that we're going to take one fighter per, per, per fight, you go first, I go first, you go first. You can't just say no bet. No, I don't want your money. It's too late, Joe. Here's I do not. Do. No, no, I do Joe, not want. No, Joe. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pay. Here's what I'm gonna do for no, you. No, Joe. no. Here's what I'm gonna do. You can't. No, the 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 the, the loan has already been foreclosed on. No, no. no here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not taking okay, it. Okay, Joe. Will will the uh, let's see. You want to make it so you she want to be in another free roll because you're supposed to have been losing at least two to three dollars last night. That's your dollar right now. This no, is, no, 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 no. Listen no, to me. Listen no, to me. No. That is your dollar. You tell me how I can win it back. And if 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 I I mean because I want to make this up to you, Joe. Because you know I I don't want I don't dollar. feel totally welchy on this, but you know I feel, you do I feel you bad. do feel totally welchy. That's I, I, why you I feel bad. That's why you're reaching into your so, wallet for another dollar. So, so, so here's what I'm gonna do. Right now that dollar is yours. You see that that dollar is yours, Joe. You can either take that one dollar. What is this? The price is you right? You can take that one dollar, or we can come up some sort of bet to uh, to give you a shot at two. I'm I'm not taking so, your dollar. No. Okay. I don't want your dollar. I don't yeah. want your two dollars. Um, no, I don't want it. I but I just want to make it clear <laughs> that if anyone out there ever gets into a betting situation with this man, get it all in writing. You baby. know what? You could all you could have done was just said, you know what? This is the bet. Take it or leave it. No, 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 no. You said I don't, I want out. I don't want. I don't want out. Well, you shouldn't let me out, you idiot. <laughs> That's your fault. That's on you. I was being I was being nice. You you don't had, be you, nice. You, you, give, you gave me six tickets. I would never do? show mercy. I know that. That was dumb on your problem. That's your difference. Different. That's why me and Brandon get along. So he's giving guys two thousand dollars <laughs> back. I'm giving you money back. I I won two bets last night. I will tell you this, Mark. Yes. If I make the wheel and you have six perfect. And I beat you for two grand. Oh, well, I don't expect to give it back. You're not getting it back. Damn yeah, right, I'm not. I know how that rolls. I don't want That's your money. Funny. You can take it back. I oh, just, Flipper I, Fair. Flipper Fair, by the way, asking was Mark Angle shooting? I don't. I Mark mean. is always <laughs> angle shooting. <laughs> what do you mean, was he? <laughs> Show me a day he's not angle shooting. I have an idea. No. We can we can ask somebody a question. <coughs> I like to bring. I would like to rekindle this uh, the ten thousand. Actually, who's in the chat room right now? We got Flipper Fair in there, Wookie Way Casino Examiner for sure. These, you should ask them about what they would do. Well, actually, I'm going to pose the question. Anybody in the chat box? If you um, you can either call in if you want. Do you have Do you have the Skype? Setup? I don't have the Skype. Oh, open, okay. But I can. You can either chat in and let us know. Here's the scenario. You're going to be playing the main event this year. All the stars are going to line up, and you're going to win the main event. But you have a choice. You take the bracelet and the notoriety, but you can't take the $10 million. Or you take the $10 million and the winner of the tournament is listed as anonymous and you're not able to market yourself as the winner of the 2014 main event. Which do you take? Wookie, Casino Examiner, who else is in there? We have Flipper Fair and some Flipper. guests. And do you take the $10 million? And the winner of the, the main event remains anonymous, or do you 
take the recognition and the bracelet, but you leave the $10 million behind. The questioning is open. There you go. <laughs> Skype line is open, too, 702-997-3015 if you'd like to call. I will tell you this. Yesterday we, we, we polled about 10 people. Dead even. I wouldn't say it was dead even. I think it was like 6-4, and I'm not going to say which way it went, but if you'd like to um, give us your opinion, are you taking the $10 million or are you taking the bracelet? Can't have both. You can only have one. I'm still taking the bracelet. I'm taking a ten mil. Ten mil is getting taxed. Goodbye. See ya. It's okay. I got a I'll good. Get more I got, out of, I'll get more. I got a good. I got a good account. And then with that, with part of the, <laughs> with part of that ten mil, I'm going to Tower of Jewels, and they're not one of our sponsors, so I'm not plugging them because they are. And I'm going to have a replica bracelet made up. I'm not going to. Anybody ask me bracelet. where's that from? I said it's oh, like you've been. I want an event. It's not that, wouldn't that be weird walking? But think about that. You come back to the Rio next year, right? And and your the memory of your victory has been wiped from existence. But you I still got. The, but I still are, got the ten million. You are. You are. I'll probably have more than no, ten million. No, but talk I'll, about the awkward. I'll put moments. that money to work, baby. Everybody's like, God, who won the World Series last year? I don't remember. And they're, like, they're walking past you all the time. You know, I would. And, and I would like, venture to say, I, I bet you, if we asked the next ten people. Who walked by this booth? Who won the World Series last year? I bet you, only maybe five are going to be able to correctly really? answer. Really? Yeah. Wow. You want want to start with this gentleman right here? I well, he's kind of headphoned up. I think he's okay. a little busy. That's interesting. I. Uh, <laughs> who won it? It's you, you know five. if you're in the poker world. If you're in like the Five. media aspect of the poker, like you and I, and people who are doing interviews and and, and have the pulse of the poker, you're probably going to know who won it because you covered it for your news organization, you wrote about it for your magazine, you blogged about it for your blog. But if you're a poker player, oh, who I don't know. Let me think. I forget. I mean, yeah, I think it, I don't know. So was, what, it, was so it Chris Moneymaker? So. Who, by the way, who's going to be a guest Wednesday on the show? On KLAV, yep. See, someone like Moneymaker, they're going to remember that Moneymaker won. Would they be able to remember the year that he won? See, nobody remembers who finished second. Nobody remembers who who won four years ago. But do you think only half people could name the world champion from last year? You know, okay. That'd be interesting. Sir. Hey, guys, we're, we're doing a poll. Come, come we're doing a, a poll live here, on here. Air. Pull, pull your mic there, Joe. Okay, so this will be the first gentleman answering Can the Can you question. tell me who won the main event last year? <laughs> I can't remember his name. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Okay. There you go. So we're, okay. That's one. We're 0 for, for 1. 1. We're 0 for 1. Sir? Sir, can we get, who, question? Can we get on? Real we quick. Have, we have, real quick. We've got to ask a question. Can you tell us? We're seeing if this guy is actually brilliant or not. Can you tell us who won the main event last year? We need a name. We need a name. He's digging for it. It's not on. It's not on the table, so don't look for it. Okay, that's zero for two. Zero for two. Zero for two. All right, sir. Sir, we got a question for you. Question for you. (laughs) (laughs) Can you can you tell us the name of the gentleman who won the main event last year? The Beast. Yeah. Yeah. That that, that's the nickname. They did call him the Beast. Well, what's his name? They say, they say, I'll give it to him. I'll give you that. He, yeah, he, said race, he said race, give you race that. Reese. Yeah. yeah, I'll give you that. Okay. okay. That's one for three. Okay, that's one for three. Okay. Okay, you got it. That's what okay. we need. Thank we're you. just trying to we're see. We're just you. trying to see. Yeah, I, we're just seeing who remembers. <laughs> Don't you get anything? T- <laughs> we'll get him. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. See? Oh, nice. Re- the Beast? Yeah, He's, yeah. There you go. Very good. Nice. All right. Ah, oh, that <laughs> that works. Can we ask this girl? Um, no, she nope. she ran away. Sir, question okay. for you: Can uh, you good. tell me? Watch the camera. Can you tell me? You can come closer this way, though. Can you tell me the name of the gentleman that won the main event last year? Uh, actually, it's a good friend of mine, Ryan Reese. There you go. Okay, two right. for four. Okay. Two okay, for four. So we're Thank 50%. you. Fifty percent. Thank you. Good I friend said, of his. I good said, friend of his. I said five out of ten. Well, it's not, well, we're so two. We're at, we're at two for four right now. All right, let's this see. This may become a staple of the show. You know, yeah, like we could have some fun with this. 
He looks like he's texting. He's texting busy. away. Let's see who we got. Let's see who we got. Because well, he was just standing there, so oh, he, he heard saying, the, he, he, he heard, heard the that. answer. So excuse me, sir. Sir, can we ask you a question? Real, real quick, quick question. Can you tell me the name of the gentleman who won the main event last year? I can tell you who came in second. No, who won? I can't remember. Thank you. Two for five. All right. <laughs> Two for five. Man, I'm good. If it comes out less than that, you're still wrong. By the way. Oh come on! You, you, you the you way, the way you, the way you, you were, the way you were purporting this to be is that everyone who walked by would know. Who no, won I the didn't. Man. No, I didn't say that. Well, I was intrigued by the question. I, I thought you're probably right around the uh, correct answer there. Oh, it's pretty it's, close. That, that's why. Well, that's this shocking. only goes to prove to me, <laughs> sir. Sir, question can for we, you. Can we ask you a question? Can you tell us the name of the gentleman who won the main event last year? We need a name. He had a real nice jersey on. No, no, no. no. Come on now. He's Come on now. Him. He's picturing him. I'm not saying that. He's not going to know. No, no, no. You can't ask somebody can't else. Ask help. No, you can't. No, phone, no, phone, no, phone, no, phone, no, phone, no, this is not. Uh, what was the name of that show? Uh, this is not uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Even though the gentleman who did win it is a millionaire yeah. now. No. Nothing. For you. Nothing. Two, two, no. For, two, two for six. six. Two for six. Two for six. Right, by the way, the answer is Ryan Reese. Reese the Beast. Two there for six. Go. This is going to be worse than what you thought, Joe. Well, well, but it only goes to prove my point. These are Take the $10 million and go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> got to get on TV. You got to do some deodorant commercials. Two for six. You got to do See, a we can't ask somebody who works. No, we can't do that. He's walking by that banner every day. This is, this is actually. You know what? Casino Exam was saying they misspelled Reese's name on the banner in the Amazon room. I never looked. I don't know. You have to ask him about that or check on that. Two for six. Two for six. That's unbelievable. Let's see. Oh, wow. everybody, somebody, somebody else is going to swing by here soon we can hit. By the way, everybody's hanging out. we got people hanging out in the... Uh, in the Run Good Gear. The, uh, the, and with Blind Squirrel and Run Good Gear in there. Some good stuff. So you can find somebody who's not on the phone. Oh, this guy looked like okay. Sealite. Sir, sir. Sir, Sir, can we ask you a question? Can we ask you a quick? question real quick? Can we can ask you a question? What's the, can you tell us the name of the gentleman who won the main event last year? This year? Last year. Last year. Oh, God. No, I can't. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Two for seven. It's by the name. The, the answer is Ryan Reese. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Two for seven. Two for seven. Sorry about that. Two for seven. Two for seven. It only goes to prove my point. Take the ten million dollars because well, no one. Obviously, Ryan I mean, didn't market himself not, enough. Not only oh no, listen to this. Not only is there a a banner about thirty feet long <laughs> and twenty <laughs> feet point. wide of him. There's a video playing twenty four hours a day, right around the corner. Right around the corner, and no one can tell us who won the main event. Well, not no one, but a majority of place. Take the ten I, million. I think Ryan needs a new agent. I, w you know. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. And, and hey, excuse me, sir. Can we have a quick question? question? Real quick. No? Uh, no? Okay. Oh, man. But, and and the two, one of the two people that got it right happens to be a friend and of Ryan, Ryan Reese. Reese. <laughs> <laughs> how bad is Ryan? How bad are you and Let Ryan me, running today? Oh, that's not good. Sir, can we ask you a question real quick? We're doing a, we're doing a, a fast survey here. Can you name the person that won the main event last year? Ryan Reese. Okay. Ryan Reese. There we go. Ding. Correct. Three for eight. Three for eight. Three for eight. So we're close. We'll see if you get three your, for eight is close. We'll see. Well, four you got for two, eight is you got half, two. You got, you got eight two shots 50, to get to your five. Four for eight is. But I'm saying five or less, and I'm got. I'm going to be right. Oh, where the where the or less come from? I never oh, heard yeah, of it's just less. like where the oh, no bet came from last night. Well, I'm just saying. That is kind of. You're you're actually shocked that it's only three for eight, aren't you? I would Don't, feel four. When it comes I think four would have been my bottom line. So if, when it, stays, it, if it stays below four, I'm going to be really, it, really it, shocked. You know, when it comes to math, get out of the way. Hey. Trying to offer me two to one when there's four rounds left. Well, no, but I bet on three, four, five. You didn't bet on three, four, five. I said five. three, four, five. Well, you get, you get, so that you was get fine. Action. I understand. I give you the three to one. Can ask this guy right here? Sir, can we ask you a question? Okay. See, everybody's so shy. I'm yeah, shy around here. Like, oh, I can't. The be why Antonio, I can't. Be the one why Antonio don't want to come on here. He thinks we're crazy. 
I can't be on the radio. There's a guy just really, literally walked by the video. He would answer the question, too. <laughs> no? I think this guy might know. He, ah, he's texting away, though. He's, he's busy texting. He's texting. He's texting. Where's Jesse Sylvia? I'd like to ask him the question. That would be funny. Two for eight. Three for eight. Three for eight. Three for eight. Three for eight. We had three. Three this for eight. And one a, of the this guys. This guy's got a pretty bright shirt. And Sir, can we ask you a question real quick? We're, we're asking a quiz question to people. All right. Here's your question. Can you name the gentleman that won the main event last year? Uh, Ryan Reese. Right. Ryan Reese, correct. Very good. Four Thank for you. nine. Okay, so we have four out of nine people who have been able to name the Thank main you. event champion. We do appreciate that. Good work. Thank nice, you. Nice shirt, by the way. You. Yeah, you're looking good. I huh? like that. Yeah. Starbreeze.com. There you go. We thank you. Okay, there you go. Starbreeze.com. Visit Starbreeze.com. Okay, so one Four. more. Joe, you might be exactly right. I'm good, baby. You might be exactly right. That's why you take the $10 million. <laughs> that's, why you get, that's why you get a better publicist. Is that <laughs> this is less than a year. Can you imagine three this years is, now? This is unreal. No one's going to remember. Sir, sir, can we ask you a question real quick? Can you name... Can you name the gentleman who won the main event last year? Uh, Reese, what's the guy's name? Yep, Reese, Ryan Reese. There you so go. Five out of ten. So you five out. Of, you were right, right on. Right on the Joe. button. Thank you, I sir. Mean, I mean, just even though there wasn't a real bet on I there, I'm gonna money. give you a buck. I don't want your money. That was perfect. Five out of ten. So half the people here at the World Series, oh, baby. half the people here at the World Series could name well, last half, year's champion. A, a, a very small on, on a small sample. On a small, very small sample. Small sample. I think we should do some. Uh, that Joe, kind of Joe not, you're feeling you're feeling your oats. Not today. that kind of question. We don't have that, that exact kind of question, but I think every day we should get the audience involved more. Was there anybody in a chat box that added their two cents about? Uh, are they taking a ten million? All right, here's, your, here's your chat box comments. All right, here's your chat box comments. I'll slide up here. Wookie Way says ten million. Thank. Casino examiner, take the ten million and hide in a village in Greece. Then, <laughs> w then, but then Wookie Way turns and says, "It depends. If I was already worth ten million, I'd take bracelet." Oh, that's not that's not the question. Casino the question examiner right. said, "And avoiding the chinos of the world." Uh, Wookie, <laughs> but now now Wookie says clarifies here says, "But right now, I'd take one hundred k over the bracelet." <laughs> Flipper Fair says, "I'd that's take the, the Wookie money." I know, baby. <laughs> yeah, Flipper Fair says, "I'd take the money." Absolutely, I I, I don't know where you and Nate a lot and other from? people. Not a lot because of I can parlay it if you do things right. Yeah, you, you know, almost as good as Ryan Reese's parlay. Well, right? you know what? Half the people don't even know. I would venture to say that if did, we, did if Ryan we, Reese did Ryan Reese try to do any commercials? Did he do anything get his name out there other than play poker? The, okay, who who is the last? Not the last three, but who are the three World Series of Poker champions? Who have really? I'm going to ask Fox this question. He's going to know. No, I want to ask Fox this question. Oh, I want to ask. Okay, I, let me ask well, you. Well, he just won a whole bunch of money, though. Too. Okay. Here's a question for you. Everything goes great because Joe doesn't want me to say how I say it. Everything goes great, and all of a sudden, you are guaranteed before the main event starts that you're going to win it. Right? You're guaranteed to win the main event, but you will not get the ten million dollars. That's it. Okay. So you can either win the main event but not get the money. Or or you can win the main event. Get the get 10 the million get, but then nobody knows who you are and it's totally wiped from the record. No one will ever know that you won it. There you go. <laughs> take the 10 million. Good, good man. There you go. There you go. You, <laughs> you, might, have you might have to you might have to be a stripper though. I rest my case. The fox knows. That's my new thing. The fox knows. The fox knows. All right. Fox Fair knows. enough. See, and so he's calling you a fool, by the way. A fool. <laughs> I got called a fool. That's all right. Thanks, Fox. I, you know, and then there's a guy now who just recently won a bracelet, won a ton of money, and he knows it's about the money. It's always about the money. Not in that spot. I'm on a roll There's, today, man. I'm, I what, called the 5 wow. out of 10 right on the button. The 10 Joe, million, take the 10 million. This is the right call. 
Yeah, casino examiners saying outside of poker world, no one who knows one knows the WSOP main event. Exactly winner. what but I you just know what? said. But that's the problem. You don't. These guys don't want to market themselves. I've been saying it for that's years. That's not true. Well, uh, my here was my most question. of them don't. Here was my question that I was about to pose to you before. I'm going to call him Mr. Fox now because he liked to take the ten million too. Nice. Um, can you name me the three former WSOP champions who have really? marketed themselves based upon the fact that they won the main event and have made millions in addition to the millions that they won. Can you name it? Three uh, three, uh, three, players. I'm going to pull my list. Oh. You got to look it up? Well, no, I'm going to pull my list. Okay. I, just, I think it's pretty easy. One of them has got to be well, Phil Helmut. Well, Helmut. Ob- one of them is Phil Helmut. An obvious one. Um, let, me, let me look at my list. Doyle I'm Bronson. not sure if Moneymaker falls into that category because he basically had everything thrown at him um, after he won it. He was like the miracle child, you know what I mean? Brunson's done all right. Who? Doyle Brunson. He's done okay. Yeah, but... People know who Doyle is. They Yeah, but Cooper Doyle's... He's Mr. Poker. <laughs> he's Mr. Poker. I don't think he's marketing himself because he's... People don't really know Doyle as being the champion. They just know him as being the guy who's been around for years, just well-known. Yeah, Scotty Wynn, people... Some know who Scotty Wynn is. Chris Ferguson, people knew who Chris was when they saw him. Raymer got out there. Hasham got out there. And Jerry Yang, of course, did his thing, too. How about Jamie Gold? Yeah. He got, he got a hell of a lot of publicity. Most oh, of it did. was bad. Unfortunately, but, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. man, I'm going to run today. I'm, I should go out and play poker today. Okay, you should. <laughs> you should. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's get a quick commercial break in, and we're going to come back and have some more fun here. Give an update on what's going on here at the World Series of Poker, et cetera. Joe's up a dollar. And Joe's going to try and keep weaseling money out of me. So stick around. (laughs) (laughs) Stick around, everybody. We'll be right back. RunGoodGear.com is one of poker's premier online stores for apparel. Their mission is to provide poker players with stylish and comfortable clothes for their daily grind. You've probably seen Run Good Gear at the World Series of Poker through Run Good Poker Pro Rob Salaburo or around the country through the WSOP circuit. Today, RunGoodGear.com is the place to go to gear up for the poker fell. So go there now with the promo code HOKE. That's H-O-K-E for 10% off your entire online purchase. Remember Hoke. Now, go gear up. When it comes to custom poker tables, why would you buy something someone else designed and even named for their sales or marketing purposes? The Nighthawk, the Gambler, the Big Slick, the Nuts. Sure, you can customize it if you want as long as you choose between black, red, or even green cloth, but that's about it. When you choose to play off tilt, it's not just another table, it's your table. The same price gets you a fully custom designed table that reflects your style and game. Off tilt makes it easy to design a truly one of a kind custom poker table that'll give you a home table advantage. Sure, Off Tilt could name their tables for marketing purposes, but why? It's not ours. We don't play on it. And to be honest, there are over a thousand named Off Tilt tables worldwide, including the WSOP, the Deep Stacks Poker Tour, the Jonathan Papelbon, as well as Julie's, Chris's, Scott's, Amber's, Tristan's, just to name a few. So let us add your name to the list and deliver a truly custom-crafted, furniture-quality poker table worthy of your game. Visit www.offtiltpokertables.com or call Brian Knott today at 262-490-3812. We'll show you why off tilt is the only way to play sports betters tired of getting beat every week at your sports book it's time to stop guessing and start winning we all know cash is king and it's time to let the team at double digit covers come to the rescue to help you get the positive cash flow you need to live the life you've always dreamed about Tony Dose and his all-star sports handicapping team will be in your corner to help you beat the point spread, bring excitement and winning to your betting experience, and build your bankroll to levels you never thought possible. Get free winning sports information at DoubleDigitCovers.com. Stop guessing and start winning today at DoubleDigitCovers.com. Call now for today's free winner. 1-855-489-2700. That's 1-855-489-2700. At Team Poker Joker, we build innovative, high-performance, poker-focused apparel designed to keep you cool and calm in tough situations. Wait, no we don't. 
We've just got a cool brand representing the suits of this beautiful game called poker. Our gear won't make you better, but it will keep a smile on your face. So don't be so serious and show you know how to have fun. Get your Poker Joker gear today at TeamPokerJoker.com. Grin and win today at TeamPokerJoker.com. Nine poker players on a dramatic path to glory with unbelievable twists and turns that will keep you on the edge of your seat. It's the Final Nine comic from Room 110 Publishing. Go to Final, the number nine, comic.com to download the first issue preview and get ready for the official launch coming soon. Nine will become one, one way or another. Final9comic.com. And for more details, make sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook at Final Nine Comic. The heat is on. Whether you're in the hot seat of a major poker tournament or just dealing with everyday life, stay cool with a brand new Arctic Blue cooling towel. Just wet your reusable and durable Arctic Blue cooling towel in cold water and you'll have instant cooling relief at your fingertips for up to five hours. The towel is lightweight and pliable, so you can keep it handy no matter where you are. Plus, it's absorbent enough to make sure you and your clothes stay dry while you stay cool. No need to sweat it out no matter what you're doing when you have an Arctic Blue cooling towel handy. So get the same cooling towel used by professional athletes, poker players, first responders, physical therapists, U.S. automakers, and even reality TV stars. So what are you waiting for? Visit them today at arcticblu.com and pick yours up today. Plus, enter the discount code MarkHokeShow when you check out and get 15% off plus free shipping to keep some of your cold hard cash in your wallet. It's like the Arctic Blue Bear says, it's not cool to be hot. So pick up your Arctic Blue cooling towel today. One man, his lucky shirt, an unforgettable night, and a winning streak that never seemed to end. That's how Blind Squirrel began, and we haven't looked back since. We make the clothes that we want to wear for the places where we want to look and feel our best. The game, the speakeasy, and the casino floor. Blind Squirrel's small batch, high-quality gear is for people too busy grabbing life by the nuts to bother with crappy, ill-fitting clothing. Because like you, we prefer our nights long, our drinks strong, and our lucky shirt to be our most comfortable. So look good, be lucky, and visit BlindSquirrelApparel.com for your new favorite shirt. As an added bonus, you'll receive 20% off your purchase with the promo code HOKE, H-O-K-E. You can also pick up Blind Squirrel Apparel at the Borgata in Atlantic City and in Las Vegas at all Masura stores at Mandalay Bay, Monte Carlo, The Mirage, and MGM Grand. Look good and be lucky with Blind Squirrel Apparel. Your business and promotion will only go as far as your website will take you. That's why the Mark Hoke Show has only trusted one name for over two years. BlueRail.net. Whether you need custom website design and development packages or simply need a host for your website, BlueRail is the only developer to turn to. It's time to discover the world-class personalized service only the BlueRail team can provide. Visit us at BlueRail.net. Net and call 520-822-5128 right now for your free consultation today. So get on board at BlueRail.net. How far do you want to go? Want more of The Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. This is the Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. Hey, everybody. Joe uh, headed down to the bracelet ceremony. Whatever's happening, I've got my cup on the screen. I apologize. I'm thirsty. I don't know what it is. I think I'm all beat up from those MMA fights last night in the World Series of Fight. Had a great time on that. Of course, uh, those are being replayed on NBC Sports Network, so check it out. You're going to enjoy it. Some great guys on that card last night and ladies. And we're back on the Mark Hoke Show. So Joe's going to see if we can scramble up a bracelet winner before we stop all this craziness for the day. 
Uh, let's give you an update on what is going on in the rooms right now while we're uh, while Joe is meandering about. We'll click back on. I think we want to get to the PLO tournament. Let's see if we got any news out of there. Pot limit Omaha six-handed. There is a new chip leader. Richard Ashby has jumped out in front, uh, mostly because I believe he cleaned some house. Uh, Ashby is now at 980. Sorrell Mizzy at 910. Phil Locke at 850. Corey Kilpatrick at 810. So Kilpatrick has jumped up the board. Brant Hale at 805. Michael Drummond 780. Joseph Lung 545. Ryan Schmidt, Darius Stuttered, Demise Hasabis, uh, Brandon Crawford in there. Uh, David Bakes Baker has gone out in 12th place. So we are down to 11 on the Pot Limit Omaha six-handed event number 42. That's 5K buy-in on that one. Uh, event number 43, the Limit Hold'em. The one that Brandon Shaq Harris decided to punish himself playing. And Ron Burke is out of there, so they're down to eight. Dan Kelly's at 634. And Sean Berrios has closed the gap, has gone to 640. So Sean Berrios uh, trying to chase down Dan Kelly here. David Chu's at 473. Uh, uh, Yegor Surikov at 361. Brandon Shaq Harris, 269. Followed by Jesse Katz, Jeff Lissandro, and Bryce Landier. As those guys try to knock, you know, not let Dan Kelly win that World Series of Poker bracelet. So it should be a pretty good table here. On event number 43. Uh, event 44. No limit hold them. Of course, uh, that one's got a ways to go to before we get to a final table on that. They're down to 178. Jason Johnson, now your new leader, 195, at least according to what we have uh, on counts reported. Uh, Jessica New is at 115. So uh, we got a new name up on the board there. Uh, let's see if any of the big names hopped up. Uh, Brandon Flowers still in 10th place. Uh, Jesse Cohen is listed in 15th. So, uh, yeah, Jesse, uh, Jake Balsinger, Barry Greenstein towards the top of that board as well. So a couple good ones going on here today at the World Series. And like I said, we're just uh, Joe's going down to the bracelet ceremony. Whoever's getting bracelets today will try and get someone, at least one of them, on the show. So we will be prepared for that as soon as it happens. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Joe and I having fun in here, having a lot of fun. But the, uh, of course, I uh, want to make sure we mention a couple things for you real quick, taking care of some business while uh, Joe's doing his thing. The uh, Players Poker Championship Poker Tour. Uh, I know we're running spot. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to probably just re-record it myself. But uh, go to ppcpokertour.com. June 29th and 30th uh, will be at the Stratosphere. I know the ad says Gold Nugget, but it's been moved to the Stratosphere. So please make sure that you guys uh, get on over there and join in for your chance to go to Aruba. Uh, so check it out at ppcpokertour.com. And our good friends at Run Good Gear, 10% off of the code Hoke. Make sure you go to rungoodgear.com. Arctic Blue Cooling Towels, 15% off plus free shipping. Man, it is not cool to be hot, especially here in Las Vegas. So get on board over there at arcticblu.com. The Final Line comic is out. Hey, go download your free issue. That's all you got to do. Go to final, the number nine, comic.com, and join in the fun with the Anish Patel in Room 110 Publishing. Final nine comic.com. One will, nine will become one, one way or another. Uh, Blind Squirrel Apparel, 20% off the code Hoke. Just go to blindsquirrelapparel.com. Look good and be lucky. So the best wear for your favorite gambler in the house. Or anybody just likes to gamble in life, check it out. Go to blindsquirrelapparel.com. Hey, call double digit covers. Boys are hard at work. You know, getting the MLB picks and everything else going on. 855 489 2700 for the best sports consulting book in the business. Check it out at double digit covers.com. All right. All right. All right. Give me one second. Just got to. We do have a guest coming in here, so bear with me for just one second. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> I know. I know. Shame on me. Give me a second, Tom. i got to find your... Uh, oh, <laughs> Thank you. 27? Yeah. Uh, that's right. Yeah, I was, I was like, wait a second. What's going on here? 
Yeah. Oh, my God. Make sure your mic's on here, too. Let's pull that one back up. Yeah, that's the $1,500 horse. Good Lord. Tommy, yes. <laughs> I forgot about you for yeah, a little right. bit. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, here, slide into the mic there. Right. But, well, I'll tell you what. One thing, Tommy, a, a lot of people, when we were seeing your name come up on leaderboards, you know, especially over the last couple of years, yes. um, you know, we're saying, boy, Tommy Hang is one of the best players that people don't know that hasn't won a bracelet. Wow, He's thank you. very dangerous. And, you know, you finally come through on this one. Take us through the victory. Oh, the victory felt great because I've been knocking at the door of these mixed events for a while now. And um, just a lot of, you know, this time I felt more composed, definitely, and then took my knowledge of what I've learned through the years, playing with great players, of course, and um, take that to note, and I try to finish it off this year. Yeah, so, you know, you, of course, you, you had a pretty decent field there. You got David O.D.B. Baker hanging around. That's always scary when he's anywhere near you at a mixed game table, isn't it? Yes, definitely, but uh, I do have a lot of competition. I, there's a lot of great players out there, but when I sit down, I definitely feel confident in myself, and... I always feel like I can come out on top. So we, we get heads up, you know, with uh, Jim Colopy, who's already, of course, have won a World Series of Poker Bracelet. Take us through some of the key moments of that heads-up tournament. The, the um, there was event. a lot of battles. Uh, I had a nice, comfortable chip lead, and I felt like I, I had him where I wanted him mentally. Um, his, his rail was a great rail, and he tried to get through my head, you know, get in my head with uh, saying some comments, and as soon as he wins a pot, they, they go buck wild and stuff, you know, like that. But I just finally kept my composure. Uh, in this tournament, usually sometimes I fall apart in that sense once I lose a pot, but this one I just stayed calm and collect and, and just focused on what I knew what I knew how to play, what I know what to do, and I finished it off. When you're preparing to play a horse tournament, because a lot of people, especially when they see the $1,500 horse tournaments are out there now, what are, what are the keys to getting ready to play in a World Series horse event as opposed to maybe just playing a cash game or a small event? Yeah, you have to come in knowing uh, what you're ready for. And then, like, uh, these, these uh, smaller buy-in events versus the 10K, it's obviously a bigger field with uh, people that are just there to play recreationally t somewhat to a degree. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of uh, pick those players out and then uh, go after those and try to just build your stack throughout the day and not risk your chips too much. Winning this bracelet, because I know how, I mean, just every year we see you, you know, close, you know, making yeah. great runs all the time. But finally getting there after all this time, what does that mean to you? Wow, it, it means a lot. I mean, I had my family, my wife, uh, just rooting me on, and she's my biggest support. Uh, my friends are a great support system, too, and, you know, they have uh, accolades to back them up, and they just uh, try to keep my, uh, they try to keep me focused, keep me down to earth, and uh, just know what the goal was in hand. And I was definitely there this time, and it felt great. It felt great to have that there and knowing that I had another chance at it. So it's not easy to get to that chance. Yeah, so now, of course, uh, you yeah, know, we still got some good mixed games tournaments coming up here. And yep. Are, are you going to hop in the 50K? I, I yep, yep. Last year I was knocking on that door, too. I took 13th last year, and uh, this year, I, I mean, with the bracelet in hand, I, you know, I wanted to pick it up right before the, the tournament, which starts today, and, you know, I have that by my side with a little bit of that gold luck. Who, who scares you the most when you're, you're playing this 50K? I mean, obviously all the greats in the, in the game come out to – take a shot at this thing you know are there a couple of players that you just kind of like oh my god it just can you just sit on the other table for a little while oh i have much respect for a lot of the world-class players i mean that's what we strive to be uh, i believe i can compete with them and i believe i'm also one of the best players at the table when i sit down so but there's no doubt that this this tournament is a stacked tournament stacked field um best of the best around the world so uh, you can't come in just uh knowing that you have to come in knowing that you're playing against the best and be ready for that and just play your best game, and hopefully uh, the, the cards will run out good. Do you feel like winning this bracelet has kind of finally validated you in terms of, you know, getting a, a little more public <laughs> per, public knowledge about you and saying, you know what, we all know he was good, but now you got something to put on your wrist to say, yeah, you know what, you I'm, know, I'm pretty, I'm really good, you know? I've, I've always, uh, you know, been kind of the undercover guy when it comes to that type of stuff. I just go out there and work and do what I know best, and and. The, the support by friends and the support by just people in general that just follow me that I never knew did. I mean, it, it's just, you know, it's overwhelming. I never knew that people would really support me as much as they have. And it feels good to know that uh, how hard I work, you know, is noticed by some people. So it's nice. It's awesome. So why wait so long to get your bracelet? What was the deal? <laughs> well, it was Father's Day, and I've been out here for, I came out here right bright and early with um, JC and everything like that, JC Tran and, uh, uh, we stay together, and I, it was just a while away from my family. I have three kids at home and my wife, and she does an amazing job taking care of the kids. And 
I couldn't wait to get home and just show them, show them the support of what they, how they've supported me and just get home and hang out with the kids and the family. Yeah. Well, I, that's an, I can tell it's a really good source of pride for you. you yeah. Know, to have been you. able to come home and, you know, and show that to, you know, and tell her, but the family, Hey, you know what? I've, I won and get yeah. that hug. I mean, that's yeah, that's something to, that priceless. that's something you can't trade. No, that's definitely priceless right there. You know, even when through the thick uh, the thick and the thin because there's ups and downs of tournaments and all that stuff. So, you know, the downs are horrible, but with your family and your support system there, I mean, nothing can go wrong. You betcha. Hey, you want to show everybody at home that bracelet? Oh yeah, look at that thing. Let's that's see. a nice set of headphones too, by yeah, the way. Yeah, look at that. Gold but headphones with the gold bracelet. So I'm that's not, not I'm bad. But this thing, I'm very very look at the pleased. Camera right, right there. There you go, right everybody. There. Right there? That's what you shoot for right there. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Very nice. Well, Tommy, I, I know a long quest to get that bracelet. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we really do appreciate you stopping by. No, thank you very much for having me. No problem. Well, good luck in the 50K today, thank man. You. I need it. May you get, get a trophy to go along with that bracelet. Uh, yeah, exactly. That'd be you. all right. You got it. There you go, everybody. A very, very happy. Look at this Ecstatic. guy. He's still smiling. I'm he, doesn't, smiling. he doesn't even want to get out of here, no, does he? I'm it's all good. Smiling. It's all good. You can <laughs> you can hang, Tommy. It's all right. It's all right. So way to go, my friend. Thank you very much. You got it. Tommy Hang, the horse fifteen hundred dollar horse tournament winner. Finally getting his bracelet. Let's see. It's been twenty seven. Thank you, Tommy. Good job. Congratulations. Yeah, very good job. Congratulations, man. So there you go. But I gotta, I gotta say that's the longest that I can remember somebody waiting to get a bracelet. That ended. Uh, when did that tournament end? Uh, it was the day before Father's Day. Yeah, so that was uh, June June fourteenth. June fourteenth. It's not. Oh my God! I couldn't have waited a, like eight, eight, nine days to get my bracelet. I know you. Oh, actually, I could have never willing, waited that long. You were willing to scoop the bracelet up and leave the ten million behind? I've been like, I've been like, screw the ceremony. You know, Give me the bracelet. Between Tommy and Brandon, um, you know, for many, many years. Poker players always got a, always had a black cloud about them character-wise, you know, kind of twenty plus hours in a poker room, not eating good, just not having a healthy lifestyle. But you know, you get guys like Tommy and Brandon, and, and you, real family men. You know, mm -hmm. Brandon mentioned about his mom. Tommy mentioned about he he went home and forego the. Uh, the bracelet uh, ceremony just to spend time with his children. That's I mean, awesome. Guys like this will make poker players and the poker community take notice. You know, we've we've had our run of guys that may not have been the best for poker, but if we have continue having champions like these, these two individuals that we had on the show today, uh, nothing but good things can happen for poker. I'll tell you what, and you know, one of the first things I remember when you know Dutch Boyd went deep in that event. And Dutch and I were talking about Tommy and. He just said, man, Tommy Hang is one of the best players that people don't know. And a couple other people said that to me, too. And, and we've seen his name many times at the top of a WSOP leaderboard. Uh, but for him to finally get there and yep. win. I believe and, he, you know, was runner, he was runner-up, I believe, in last year in the uh, same event. I think so, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, and, you know, of course, he's in that same troop with J.C. Tran and all those guys out of Sacramento. And I'll tell you what, those boys can play some poker out there, too. They can. I don't want to get near him. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'll just, I'll just stay. But it's refreshing to see yeah. guys Great. like Tommy and Brandon. Very, very refreshing. All right. So there you go. Tommy Hang stopping by. Showing gold. Gotta want one of those. Have you ever put a bracelet on, Joe? Not a World Series bracelet. A player did let me wear his bracelet one Who time. Who did? Dutch, actually. Oh, let cool. me wear, wear his 2010 you know, bracelet, I believe. It's kind it's of. Just, it's a tingly feeling. It's like, God, you want to keep it. <laughs> It's kind of sacrilegious, I think. You know, it's almost like the Stanley Cup. You're not supposed to drink out of it unless you've actually. Well, I didn't drink it. Won at it. Well, but you're putting the bracelet on. I mean, I know that my my dream would have been to play in the NHL. I know it's not going. Obviously, will never happen. But so I kind of cheated and I drank out of the cup uh, back in '94. But uh, <laughs> I knew I was making a bo big boo boo. But you know, it was a once in a lifetime situation. Oh so. hell yeah! Yeah. So so no fault, no harm, no foul. Unlike last night, when there was a complete foul, it was a flagrant foul. By the way, <laughs> if you're in the NBA, you might Why have gotten you, you know you might have gotten ejected. Well, I don't want to. No, I don't know. I don't like. I flipped no, to I, a loser for you, Joe. You know that, right? You on your own I will. Flipped, <laughs> I flipped to a you loser. You even said, "I'm probably going to regret this." I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know oh, the uh, that was well, so much fun when though. I was. Um, 
watching Tar- Tommy's ceremony, I was thinking of another question that we could maybe possibly do somewhere down the road while we're here through our series. Uh, and I'm interested to think, I'm going to just throw the question out, and you tell me how many people out of 10 would answer correctly. Okay. What was the winning hand when Phil Helmut won his main event? Oh. I know you probably know. Ooh. Oh, you don't know. Oh, I thought you would know this. Oh, my God. But I'm saying that very few people are going to know that. And Phil is one of the guys who oh. has taken his his run, his deep multiple bracelet runs, and making he's made good use of it. I don't remember what Phil won with. I can name a couple of other winning I'm hands. sure you can, but that's yeah. what I mean. See, uh, is anybody in the chat box? Is it, Who do we got in the chat box? Because I bet you Casino Examiner will probably know. He knows everything. See, but they have time to look it up. Yeah, they're cheating. Oh, similar to what you were doing last night at the fights by looking up uh, Wikipedia on <laughs> on the uh, stats of the... Well, sure. Yeah, well, sure. I'm More cheating be- devices. <laughs> That's not cheating. That's Did not you, cheating. Oh, my God. Were you using an electronic device? Well, sure, because I want to be educated when I make you a bet. be educated. It was a dollar bet. Oh, I know, but that doesn't matter. I still want to win. I don't think I'm ever going to spend this dollar, by the way. Help me throw one with nines. There you go. But the one I remember. Two see, bl- two I'll tell you, nines, I'll tell you I this, is, this goes to show how, you know, like the the craziness that I, that I have a little bit in terms of poker. You know, I couldn't remember that one. But you know the one I really remember? Joe Hatcham? No. Robert Marconi. Queen 10, right? Queen 10. Yeah. I remember I remember Queen and 10 really well because that got a head shaving. Well, yeah, because Phil he Because he, 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 he was winning all these hands with Queen 10 through the tournament. It was crazy. But good for him. I'd love to meet He's from Brooklyn. I'd love to meet Robert. I mean, I've seen him around. The but new I've Robert. Never, what do you mean the new Robert? No, I'd like to meet Oh, Robert. beat! I, I, I've actually never met Robert. He Marco. he, uh, he kind of was around um, in the two or three years following his win, but then I haven't seen him much. I saw him at the Borgata last year. Yeah, well, he's, I, maybe know, he, he just he stays plays, on the East you know, Coast. Obviously, plays up there, but I think he's got a family now, and yeah, I'm sure we'll uh, I'm sure we'll see him here at the you think so? the main event. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, he'll be here. He'll come out for the main event. He'll come out for the main event. Okay, he usually does. I'm still waiting for a, uh, for Jamie Gold to get out. Usually, he's out here a little sooner. But I guess he'll Do be you know there. the hand that um, Joe Hatcham won? 7-3. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah, you got that flop that straight. Yeah. On Danaman Amen. Had a long talk with Danaman the other night, by the way. On the air, chat. too. Uh, well, off air, I had yeah. a long chat with him, too. It's just He's just getting married, or he's getting married? Or? He's getting, uh, well, he's got, he's got Twinskies on the way. Wow. That was what shocked the shit out of me. No offense, but I was like, whoa. Danaman and Twins. <laughs> Good luck with that, pal. He's a character. He'll be. He'll be we, I'm sure he'll be a great dad. Does it have a f- second place finisher there on that list that you're looking at? Uh no. They go, okay, but don't don't go any place then. Okay. Uh, when when uh, Chris Ferguson won, who finished second? Uh, I don't know. TJ. Oh, that's right. He beat. T- yeah, because that's the one where everybody, you know, we really regret in long the long run who won that tournament. In I mean, then or now? Now we do. I mean, people probably still root for TJ back then, but... Uh, Especially his backers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Maybe maybe TJ couldn't win. Carlos Mortensen, everybody. 2000. 2001. See, you keep you keep mixing Ferguson was the 2000. That's right. Yeah, that's... Who, d- who did Carlos beat? Do you know? Nope. I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't the tell you. Nobody remembers who's finishes second. Even though actually, I can go back and I can name I can name some of the guys that finished second. Running back through, let's see, wonder how far back. Who did Phil? Who did Phil Helmut beat? No idea. Come on, I don't remember. I forgot. He stopped oh, Johnny somebody. Chan. Yeah, Johnny I say yeah. He stopped somebody from winning. Johnny Chan. Yeah. John was going to win so, multiple times in a so row. So Reese beat Jay Farber. Greg Merson beat uh, Jesse Sylvia. P.S. Hines beat Martin Stasco. Duhamel beat uh, Raisner. I wonder who I'm going to beat this Kata year. beat Moon. I forgot who Eastgate beat because that was such a was it Demidov? Yeah, it was I want to say Demidov, the Russian guy. I think it was Demidov. Let me uh, let me see here. Let's see if I can find it here real fast. I wonder who's going to fall to me this uh, year. Came in I'm s- taking a ten million, by the way. Okay, um, but I'm going to take yeah, the Demidov. bracelet. Demidov is. I'm going to take the bracelet, but okay, even though that's uh, so Yang beat uh, <coughs> Tuan Lam. Gold beats uh, Paul Wasika. Hashem beat Daneman. Raymer beat D- 
David Williams, Moneymaker beat Farha. I do not remember, and I'm pretty much stuck after that for the most part. There's, I mean, there's some back there, but so I can get back a few at least. I got to study up a little bit more, I suppose. Uh, you know, uh, I should be able to name them Snap Call, so I'm going to have to study. You know, it, it, the blackjack world, the blackjack tournament world, and the blackjack counter world is a, is a very small subculture, so to speak. Poker is a subculture also. Uh, a little bit larger than the blackjack world because <laughs> poker is just just a tiny bit. But the point is, outside of the poker world, people don't know who won the main event. And then now it looks like inside the poker world, again, a sm- very small sample, maybe 50% of the people do not know who won literally less than a year ago. That is kind of You were surprised by that, weren't you? I'm a, uh, goes, knowing n- there, goes, well, there goes your boy again. Who? Who's your that? boy? I don't know that guy. Yeah, yeah, I know you don't. I do not know that guy. But uh, by the way, I put that tweet out, and uh, which tweet is that? The about the five out of ten, and and uh, we did get a tweet back from uh, Chris Conrad, Run Good Gear Pro, and follow him at FSU Conrad at Mark Hoke Show. Poker's dead! <laughs> exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for only five people out of ten can name the last year's winner, and literally. Less than 10 feet from us is a loop of a video running <laughs> of the final table from last year. <laughs> of, of last year's final table. Yeah. Showing Reese the Beast. That's incredible. With his Detroit Lion jersey on. Huh? I bet, you know, I'd be willing to bet that. Wait more, a second. Hold on. Here, here. Well, hold on. No, no. You want to make a bet. We here's gotta, the. got to get this in writing. Here's the bet. <laughs> okay, I would gonna, be willing to bet Mark that more would be people. Willing. Okay. More people. Okay. So we have the five out of ten on Reese. I'd be willing to bet that more people, if I asked them, what team's jersey was the main event champion wearing oh, that's, yeah, that would last be year at the final that table? Would be easy. I bet more people would remember that than remember his name. You're probably right. You're probably right. I'm going to say might be uh, our, that one. That might be six out of ten. I yeah, I think six or seven out of ten get that. That would be pathetic. <laughs> we, could, we could do that question tomorrow if you like. We should. Hey, there's Robert Mizraki. Hey, Rob. Hey, congratulations. Hey, you want you want to say hi to everybody real fast? You got a second? Yeah, let's get this guy on here, because he just won one kick-ass event, a decisive victory. We got to we got to say hi to Robert Mizraki when he's in the house. Rob, man, you've been flying around here all World Series, but payoff day yesterday. How about it? Yeah, it was great. Here, congratulations. We'll move yeah, up there. thanks a lot. It was awesome. You need me to put this on? Um, you're okay. Yeah, just want to talk get close into that mic. Say hi. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it was a great victory. It was pretty impressive event, 16 games. It was a lot of fun, and it worked out very well. I mean, turned out smoothly. Dealers were great, and I played out my heart. So going through that event, now we, we've been talking about strategy leading up to this. Uh, take us through maybe the like the first third of the tournament when you're starting to try to whittle people out. What was the strategy for a lot of you guys when you were calling your games? Well, just uh, I was mixing up different games, and then I was waiting to see uh, the games that players were playing the worst at, and then I was just repeating those games. And that's probably the best strategy in that event. Yeah, and you know, so we I know we heard a lot of Badoogie, Badesi, Badusi calls. I mean, that seemed to be pretty popular to try and stick it to people, wasn't it? Oh yeah, when you were um, when you had a big chip lead, you definitely want to put in Badoogie in there because people have no clue; they get scared, and it's a one winner game. And it's so easy to bluff your opponent out, and usually people are not going to be creative playing Badoogie for, with a short amount of hours. And you know, one thing that really intrigued me at the final table was, you know, I saw a lot of a uh, lot of Omaha, a lot of PLO, PLO eight, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, seven card stuff. But it seemed like Omaha was the call at the final table a lot. Yeah, Palm and Omaha was a great game because the blinds were half as opposed to the to the limit games, and you're able to control your pots in PLO. And Palm limit is definitely the most skillful structure in the world. So. You try to pick pot limit as much as possible. Yeah, and of course, then you'd be a mixed games expert. Man, you had to be excited when you saw this on the schedule, I'm sure. I mean, you and the, and the rest yeah, of the brothers. It's very exciting to see it on a schedule because it seems like a fun event. And with 420 players, you know, 
at least 75% of them haven't played all 16 games or at least not good at it or don't have experience in all those games. So what does this second bracelet mean to you? I know the first one was you know, incredibly near and dear to you, but this one coming back and especially winning an event like this, I mean, how yeah, are you feeling? It's definitely an exciting event. I'm very happy that I have two bracelets, but it's a lot more to come, hopefully. And uh, I just want to play as good as possible. Now, so. And, of course, the 50K coming up here in uh, just a little while. You know, one of uh, another one of the Mizraki Brothers specialties. Got to be excited about getting ready for yeah, the 50K. The 50K is very exciting. I mean, my brother won it in 2010, 2012, and now 2014. We'll see. Hopefully one of us take it down. Now, one thing, one of the questions I do have to ask you is playing beer pong with uh, Todd Brunson, which I saw you do last year on the 4th of July, what was that experience like for you? It was fun. That was actually <laughs> my second time playing, and we destroyed everybody. But I had to give uh, credit to Todd because he drank all the beer. and. <laughs> Without him, I would have been out. There you go. Well, I'll tell you what. Hey, it's always good to see you, and congratulations on another World Series of Poker bracelet. Right. Way to Take go, care. Rob. Thank you. There you go. Rob Mizraki, the winner of the Dealer's Choice event. That, you know, and i got to tell you, Joe's sneaking back in here. That couldn't have been a lot of fun seeing Ms. Rocky at that final table. I mean, when, when I think of... Guys that play mixed games well. You know, there's people like, uh, you know, Elliot Lesler comes to mind, uh, Tom Schneider. But the Mizrakis, all of them, man, they are just no how many, fun how to many, play. How many are there? How many grinders are there? He's the baby grinder, right? Let me look, let me make sure I get the order of the Mizraki brothers right, because I don't want to. That's terrible. I, I should be able to. See, I'm just all off right now. You having a bad day? Is it Rob Eric? Is it, is it the dollar? I mean, I'll give you the dollar back. No, if that's no, no. Throwing you off. No, I just want to. Uh, yeah, it's all. There's all four of them, of course. Uh, and that, and of course, they had that great feat back in 2010, where they uh, all made day three of the main event, and I think they all they all cashed actually. Let me, let me see. Let's see if they have a list in order of them. Uh, okay, so you got Mike, Rob, Eric, and Donnie. Donnie's doing some great DJing, by the way. Some great what? DJing. Oh, really? He DJs a lot. He's putting some, some great music. Yeah, so you got Michael, Rob, Eric, and Donnie. Pretty, uh, pretty <laughs> talented family. Yeah, and, you know, they're, you know, of course, we had a couple of them at a final, you know, the Players' Championship final table a few years ago. And, uh, you know, now we have one Ms. Rocky with a bracelet. Could it be the grinder's time again to win the win the 50K? He is, you know, I think it's an alternate year, so I think it's his turn. It's his turn. <laughs> it's just so sick. I mean, the, the way these guys play mixed games, you know, and, and and I remember a lot of that comes from, you know, their their mom playing. Uh, taking is that, a, is that yeah, how Yeah, I mean, they, it, they do that all the time, player? all from when they were kids. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, they've, they've been doing it for a while, and, you know, it certainly shows. I mean, they're all very talented on the mixed games, so there you go. Grinder mania, or grinder, grinder brother mania. Rob is Rocky. Yeah. So hey, there we go. So we got to have some fun on the show. Another and, another and, fun day. And a couple bracelet winners on the board too. Three, I think. Did we have three bracelet winners? Yes, yesterday? three. Pretty strong show. That's good. Along with a, along with a roving survey. <laughs> yes, it was a roving survey. <laughs> a roving survey. All right. What so are your plans for this evening? Um, more, more Mark Hoke show at six thirty p.m. Who do you got scheduled? Nobody. How about Nate? Is the that, that co-host that I, I think you have? I hope he'll be around. I hope he'll be around. Let's see what uh, else. My uh, back is killing me from carrying Nate. <laughs> it really hurts. I'm actually going for a, a massage after we leave here right yeah, now. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Some great masseuses here, by the way. You should go over. Get a massage. You get the employee discount, by the way. You know that. Oh, really? Half off, baby. Is it half off, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. How come you always tell me about all these so, these deals later do on? Do I have to teach you everything? Uh, pretty much. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, you, off. You've taught me now that when I make a bet with you, <laughs> I put it in writing. <laughs> this way I can say, no, no, Mark, that's not the way we agreed. Here's the deal. You pick one, I pick one. Are you going to pick a, a finalist for the uh, grand championship? Yeah, I took I, I took grinder. Oh, you took the grinder. Which one? Grinder. But you no, got no, 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 there is the, no, there's no. only one grinder, grinder, Michael Mizraki. Okay, okay. Well, I look at them as the the grinder, little grinder, little grinder's brother, 
Little, little Grinder's younger brother. Jeez. Okay, It'll so go. I got Negrano, and you got the Grinder. Yeah. Just the final table. Unofficial or official final table? I've got to make that clear with you, see? So I have to dot so all the going to last longer on it. Uh, we might not be able to really know exactly when they went out. All right. Well, they may go out early, and we'll not, we won't know. Just final table. Okay, for fine. a buck. Okay. All right. You want to wanna, wanna okay. sign that? <laughs> Got the contract all written up here. Hey, whatever makes you happy. We have a question for you, ma'am. Oh, jeez. During last year's main event, the gentleman that won had a team jersey on. Do you know what team jersey he had on? No cheating, sir. They can't look it up. Oh, you don't know the answer. I don't know. I watched the And you watched it too, right? Here. You, okay. at, at the oh, you didn't. Do you know who? Do you know the name of the player who won it? Yes, but I had a cocktail at lunch, so I'm going to just let this go. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't. You don't recall. You know, she, if you, if you don't recall the jersey he wore, like just about every day, I, I believe. The Beast. The Beast. Oh, Reese. Yeah, Reese. There you go. What jersey did he have on? White with. With what color? Powder blue. Maybe like powder blue, silver. Yeah. There you go. There See you that? Go. A little couple of hints. We got you. Uh, Thank you. See, you're all good. We do appreciate that. There you go. We're trying to figure out if anybody even remembered, because we just recently did a poll, and only five out of ten players could name who won the event. And we. And they did have his banner spelled wrong and correctly in there for a while. See, yeah. that's... Oh, they, they have they yeah, corrected they it? I don't think so, actually. I was in there yesterday, and I didn't... I, I'm going to oh, go in gotta, and look. I'm going to check that out. It was wrong to begin with. I'm going to go in and look at that. Thank you. You're welcome. We do appreciate that. Fun, there you okay. go. <laughs> Joe's already jumping on the next question, and we're but we're out of time. We're out of time, but I but it's there you go. Clock. There you go. At first, she didn't know how to give her a couple of hints. Team colors. Yeah. Could have been North Carolina too. <laughs> Ick. You're from that area. You're Ick. from that neck of the woods. From Pennsylvania. I just spend a little. That was a way. That was kind of a waylay. Yeah, uh, kind I guess of a so. kind of a layover. If yeah. you were to make the final table. Yes. And you had to put a team jersey on. Baltimore Orioles. Or Baltimore Orioles, yeah. Done. Yeah. Done? You know what jersey I'm wearing if I make the final table, right? Uh, that would It's not going to be the Philadelphia that, Flyers, That would okay? be, let me see, the... Uh, Unless someone's going to pay me a lot of money to wear something else. The Albuquerque Isotopes? Yeah, there you go. Right on. They'd probably appreciate that. They would. I, think I, wonder, I, might I wonder how much... I wonder... See, see, this is the kind of stuff that I think about. If I went to the Baltimore Orioles, how to get out of Orioles, bets when you don't have the best of it? If I went to the Baltimore Orioles and, and said, said, "Look, I would like to wear an Orioles jersey," they'll probably give you one. No, I'm not. I'm not asking for them oh. to give me one. How much would you pay me to wear a Baltimore yeah. Orioles jersey on I, the main event final table? I bet you they say nothing. You know what? Then I'm wearing a Philadelphia Eagles jersey, not a Philadelphia Flyer jersey. Oh no, the Flyers are kind of. I I probably wear a Sixers jersey before I wear a Flyers jersey. Wow, really? Well. <laughs> the Sixers have won a championship more recently than my Flyers, so 19, I'm kind of going in order. 1950. When was the last time? When was the last time anyone from Philadelphia won anything? Flyers won in the mid 70s. Mid 70s. That was well, like the last, Phil- the Phillies. That won. Was like the Phillies won. A, the Phillies won cha- championships yeah, yeah, yeah. recently. And but they, I'm not a. But I'm not a Phillies. Not guy, a Philly my Orioles guy. Or You're an Orioles guy. 83. You know, it's an interesting question because um, I wonder if the Rangers would. Do something if I were a New York Ranger. I would think you'd be able to get a little bit out of them. You think so? I would think so. Okay. I mean, just me- see, that'd be cool. Just say, give me ten k. Give me ten k to wear your jersey. You get your buy-in back. Yeah, but you you're have free to, roll at that point. You you're free roll. You can't see. You got to get the endorsement, so you're free rolling. You can't say that at the beginning of the tournament. Though. No, not the beginning. No, you no. When do you think the? Do you, do you know any? Do you have any knowledge? I know you're pretty much. Have your ear to the ground. Do you know any knowledge of when s- corporate sponsors start to approach players in the main event, how deep they are before they start trying to negotiate deals? <sighs> a lot them? of times they're starting to definitely hit them on day seven. Day seven. Yeah, when, when they start down getting to day seven. There's when down to the, Yeah, baby, there you go. Uh, when, they're down to, when they're down to like 27 players? Definitely when they get down to 27. Uh, I know some people start getting approached on day six, depending on who they are, but okay. but day I seven. I just want to prepare day myself. Seven, day seven, they definitely start talking to people, and of course, when when the final table's up, it's a 
it's but it's easy. It's a, you're, so you're it's a done into deal, the shark right? Pool at that point. But here's interesting. Did did Ryan Reese? He turned it down. Get he did not. He turned down every deal. No, no. Did but he get anything from the Detroit Lions? No, I doubt it. Probably not. Huh? No. You think they would at least like, send him season tickets see? or something? Look, let me ask. Let me tell poker players out there something. And I'm looking at you right in the camera, everybody. Let me be your agent. I will scrape every dollar off the bottom of the bin that you can possibly get. Call me. And if he signed the contract and he doesn't think that you're getting the best of it after the contract is signed, he'll walk away from it. I know this. Wow. Wow. You want an agent like me who's going to be stand up and we're going to we're going to try to get the best deal we can, but whatever deal we sign, we're going to stick to it. You know what? I'm gonna, I have nothing else to say. I'm, I'm going to do something to Joe here. Let's see. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to superimpose a face over me? Here, here, here. Well, let's, <laughs> let's see if this works. Oh, that one's not working. Why did that? Why did the face not work? See, put it over. It'll probably, it's terrible. It'll, it'll probably work over yours. Here. Well, we're not we're not doing facial recognition on this. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, huh? I, they do facial recognition on me where, where quite is, often. Uh, where, where is that? Uh, here's emotion. See, see, this should be. You know, it should see a face. And put something up there, but I don't know why it's not doing it. I got the I'm gonna have to check on that. On the I'm break. moving around, so you can't you can't get me. I'm not sh- I'm not sure what's up. You can't get me. I'm moving around. Hey, it was but a good I, show today, by the way. It was a good show today. Here, I'll find something fun for Joe before we go. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. We got the. This is one of my personal favorites. The the shocked beaver. There he is. That's our that's our friend, the crazy beaver. Yeah, there he is. All right. Those, those animations are just waiting. I'm, I'm saving a lot of that stuff for the for the main event coverage. Crazy beavers? Yeah, we got crazy beavers and frogs and butterflies and bullfights and all sorts of stuff. They got roaches. You know, whatever. Roaches? Yeah. I don't want to put the roach on the screen. We got a star taking a bow. See, there you go. Ta-da! That's me. Why can't you get the uh, the faces? That would be interesting. I don't know. I, I, I'm i not sure why, yeah, that, work on uh, that. Why, that, uh, why that didn't work out. All right. Before I start going insane here. Joe, great show. Thank you, sir. I want to thank Robert Mizraki, Brandon Shaq Harris, and uh, Tommy Hang for stopping by. Always a pleasure to talk to those gentlemen. Tommy was a pleasure to talk to. You betcha. All right, so that's going to do it. We will see you guys later on tonight. We may have another bracelet given away by that point. I won't be here. I have uh, other obligations. That's all right. Hopefully your other co-host uh, yeah, somebody will grace you with his presence. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, kids, we will see you uh, this af- this evening at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time here on the Mark Oak Show as we continue our live coverage from the World Series. Joe Payne, along with uh, yours truly, we'll see you tonight. We're out of here.